brief description. Oh, no, 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 I don't want that. Verbose? Ha! Huh. Got it. That was lucky. Uh, Yatsuhiko got the divination. Hey, Mr. Greaves. Taunt. Taunt crowd. The nymph returns, opens the stocks, and restores all possessions and disappears. Okay. Save. Nine. Save. Divination. All right, great question. Get rid of that white background. I wish you could change the. the I don't. I'm not a big fan of the giant white. Ah. Uh, I got the ball right in front of my face. Last hex on white. I'm losing my mind. I need. I need it swapped. It's really killing me. Although I gotta say, the white text on red background that was the worst. That Jeopardy area was terrible. All right, Yatsuhiko wants to know, will teenage girls laugh at me IRL when we next hang out? Oh, let's find out. No. No. Crumb was upset you didn't ban spider effects. I wish I could replace the ball with grunt sounds. All right. Let's get back into position. All right. Here we go. That's the stockade. Um, east. All right, let's not spit again. Go ahead and be funny. All right. Moon. Moon judges. The judges crack up. You score a 9.3. They like my ass. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Fool's Guild, I hereby name you an apprentice Aloha. fool. You are entitled to wear this hat at all times. And in return, one year to qualify for full membership in the guild. He gives you a fool's cap and escorts you out of the pavilion to the stockade. Now, get out there, make a fool of yourself. Make us proud. That's all it took. Hey, presto! How you doing, presto? And Tristar, welcome in. All right. Currently empty. 15 points! Save it! This game is tough, Presto. <laughs> I'm doing great. Let's go with 31 years old. Presto, we did it! 31 months! All right. You get an honorary Hans 10. I will, I will drop this. Where is it? There's my Hans. My name is Hans. Thank you, Presto. Drinking Thanks for the 31 months, man. Presto, you're so cool, dude. Skin. You're so cool. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Spaz. I feel like a fool. Yeah, it's like Gateway, Jay. It's just like Gateway. Right on, Presto. Hope you're doing well today. Look at this guy's bald as fuck! All the beeps! Alright, let's go west this time to this shady area. You know what? You cheated. This is a shady area just off to the west of the meadow. Hey, Daz Cat. Poke me with a fork. I think I'm done. I think that's what it says. There is a three-handed elf here. Ranged out in front of him are three shells. One That's red, one blue, one blue green. RPG. He is constantly moving the shells around, lifting first one and then another, tossing a pea back and forth on the 
Tree behind him are some woodcuts. Lily. Step right up, step right up. Who's next? Just a few minutes of your life against the chance to win some woodcuts of the lovely Lady Lily. You, sir, would you like to play? Yes. That's a scary face. And he's got three hands. Certainly. Certainly, sir, says the elf. He puts the pea under the blue shell and starts moving the shells around. After a moment, he stops and says, All right, where's the pea? In the balls. Uh, democracy is welcome in. I gotta pick a shell. Oh my god. What do you want? It's gonna be the blue shell, right? Hey, my blue. <laughs> You turn over the blue shell, but discover nothing underneath it. The elf turns over the green shell to reveal the pea. He revealed the pea? No! Piss in the toilet. Sorry, better luck next time. You suddenly feel a few minutes older while the elf appears a few minutes younger. What the fuck? I got old? One of the strolling musicians wanders Jesus by. Christ, he plays the game and wins, but turns down the prize. What the fuck? What? Hey, what's up, Guy Kazama? Alright. Undo? Or does it not even matter? All right. The elf peers, wait, what? Through the computer screen and notices your maneuver. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Hold on, I tried to do undo to, to re redo this thing. And the elf has now peered through the computer screen and notices your maneuver. He points skyward and shouts, look, it's Haley's Comet. You glance up at the corner of your eye and catch the elf reshuffling the shells. He knew I was cheating! Oh my god! <laughs> well, yeah, the game knew I was cheating. You see? You see? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And I love cheating. Alright. I'm a big old cheater. Talk to Elf. Up to mention. Do you buy your shirts off the rack? Certainly. Why do you ask? Uh, don't look now, but Sony has slapped some hot dogs on the side of your head. Thanks for the tip. Tell me about the game. It's really quite simple. I hide the pee. You try to find it. All it costs is just a few minutes of your time. My time is precious. Drama, welcome in drama. Hazemaker, good to see you, Hazemaker. Hey, Tardis, what's up, guys? I didn't cheat. The game says I cheated. I don't think I cheated. What are the stakes of the game? If I win, my lifespan increases by a few minutes, and your lifespan decreases. But if you win, you get some of my minutes, plus you get the woodcuts. Tell me about the woodcuts. They're the latest in erotica from Lily's fevered imagination. People are paying a silver penny just to spend two minutes looking at them. And you get a copy of the woodcuts. Let's just say there are some advantages to having three hands. And Lily appreciates people with special talents. Hey, Sky. Am I winning? No. There's no boobs! There's no boobs on the screen right now! We're good! <laughs> We're good! The rig never cheats. Thank you, Presto. Thank you, Presto. Never! Aren't shell games like this illegal? What? What? Can't hear you! Somebody has slapped some hot dogs on the side of my head. Stupid! Enough talk! Let's get back to the action. The elf tips over one of the shells and says, Oh no, it's like the game knew I was cheating! He's already playing. Alright, play. 
play. Certainly, sir. All right, where's the pea? All right, he put it in the red shell. Last time it was in the green shell. Blue. Oh my god! Sorry, better luck next time. Talk to musician. How do you play that thing? Well, right now I can't. It's missing a reed. If I don't get one soon, I'll lose my job. Why do you keep playing the game and then turning down the woodcuts? I'm just trying to buy time. That's the last set of woodcuts that elf has got. If I take them, he'll close up shop and go away. Nice shades. Thanks, they're polarized, waterproof, fireproof, and shock resistant. Perfect for gigs with really rough crowds. How'd he keep beating the elf? He has magic, I have mine. Later, dude. He's cheating. All right, so the elf is cheating. Maybe if I take his glasses. Get sunglasses. Hey man, leave my shades alone. Ah, look at woodcut. They are silhouettes, but not much else. Okay, and I can't get it. Hey, keep away from there. If you want the woodcuts, you'll have to beat me at the shell game. Nuclear weapon launched. Look at shell. Look at blue shell. Mm. It's blue. Wear fool's cap. You put on the fool's cap. The elf turns his attention elsewhere. Oh, really? Insult. Insult elf. The elf can probably beat the living tar out of you, so you bite your tongue and do nothing. And the guy won again. Talk to elf. <sighs> no. Okay. I got the bungee cord too. Berries. Hornpipe. Look at horn pipe. Hey, Cubby, good morning. Resembles a bagpipe, except bagpipe usually looks like nine cats are trying to get out of it at once. Come to think of it, that's what a bagpipe usually sounds like, too. All right. Look at table. Look under table. Look on table. Get shell. Get blue shell. Not so fast. Let's wait until the game in progress. All right. Huh. What's up, Cybash? This elf's got me. He's got me good. Look at fair goers. The crowd here is thinned out. What? Certainly. Where's the pee? Look at. Here it is, you lose. What happened? East, get me out of here, dude. I'm dying. Ah, Cleveland! Cleveland boy, what's up, Cleveland? Good to see you, man. Road Warrior, like this one? Yo, Bennett! Ciao, Bello. What's up, man? You're not playing the farmer's daughter. I wonder how she's doing. Have you played this one before? How goes Eric the Unready? This is a, it's a tough game, but it's weird. We've been making some progress. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot, but some. All right, we got some, we got some cool peeps here. Oh, years ago? Oh, okay, I've never played before. Let's give a shout out to Cleavy Boy while we're here. I don't know if we got a shout out for Presto either. Cleveland, 
working on Diablo. He's working on Earthbound, too. That's been fun. Presto, these are some of my good friends. Presto is a nice guy. Love Presto. Love Bennett's as well. But there was an Italian in this game. I, I don't know if you would have appreciated that guy. Oh, yeah, Goblins. How are you liking Goblins? I like Goblins. The Amiga version, or the Atari ST one, I think it's a... Uh, that one has some censorship that was removed. They censored the DOS version. I only beat Goblins 1 and 2. I haven't beat I haven't beat the third one yet. I got the third one on my on my shelf up there. Can you guys even see it? No. Okay. There it is, Goblins 3. I got that back in the day. Alright, we go, let's go let's go north from the amphitheater. Is this where Lily is? There is a sign here. Alright, the story of the dragon lily, the juggler's bane, Lily at 2 p.m. Oh, it's 10 a.m. Oh! So Lily will be coming in at noon. Remember that, guys. Noon for Lily. We gotta see Lily. We clearly gotta see them. Can I go north again? Entry by invitation only. Get lost. Quest. The Pavilion of Tomorrow! The Pavilion of Tomorrow is packed with futuristic technology which sets out what life on Taurus will be like in the not too distant future. On the main table are a hoop, a chamber pot, a rubber band, an odd looking kitchen device, a viper's cage. A gong, a model of a catapult, and an aardvark. On the pedestal, off to the side, is a very large leech. In the cage, you see a viper. <gasps> oh! Perseo Padre, welcome in. I, yes, we beat Tomb Raider 2. It was tough. It was tough, but we got through it. Thank hey, Accelerate, welcome, oh, welcome I, in, guys. I appreciate you. Hey, Marmo. Chamber pot. Look at... How many, how many, let, one, one word. Chamber pot. Soon, previews will be a thing of the past. Instead, everyone will have his own personal chamber pot permanently attached to his or her rear end. Come on down to Hawaii, I got hot nudes for you. You got some hot nudes? Think of the convenience. No more midnight sorties out into the dark. No more shared facilities. Each pot will be contoured to fit the posterior of the individual. With the chamber pot of tomorrow, instant relief is always just behind you. Sorties? That's weird. Look at Aard Bart. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Look at Aard Bart. Personal hygiene system. Exhaustive research has recently revealed that all of the people who have ever died of the Black Death, none has ever expired while holding an aardvark. Oh. Everyone will carry an aardvark with them at all times. Okay. Well, I think I need to get an aardvark. Yo, that's a, that's the chamber pot, yeah, for streamers, Evil Tentacle. He's too heavy. Get chamber pot. As you reach for the chamber pot, your hand accidentally brushes up against the catapult. The hair trigger on the catapult fires. The black marble arches through the portable window, nearly misses the window shade, and strikes the gong. A very large, very stupid troll lumbers into the room. Display, not touch, he recites mechanically. He finds the marble and reloads the catapult. Knuckles dragging against the floor, the troll lumbers away again. You taking the frickin' hat off! Shy! Hi, Shy. Welcome in. Alright, alright. We got the crush o -matic. Trolls win! Look at... Crush... Oh... Oh my god. crush o -matic. It's the amazing oh, new crush o -matic. The all-in-one kitchen appliance of the future. No more slicing, no more dicing. Simply crushes your food to a pulp. Chair health excellent. Creek, creek. 
Wait, what was that noise? What was that noise? Kaleidoscope, welcome in. Hi there. Uh, what? Uh, what is guaranteed to appear at any vegetable? Kills, plucks, and guts a chicken with the flip of a switch. Some clean required. Great for people with no teeth. That's gonna be me. That will probably be me. Alright, there's a rubber band? I better go up down the order here. Gong. He's so pissed. Look at Gong. Alright. Ever have a problem getting service in a tavern? This personal signaling device will eliminate that headache forever. Headache. Whenever you wish to con uh, attract the attention of that wandering waiter, simply bang on the gong. It sends an unmistakable message that will be sure to attract the waiter, if not the management, to your side post haste. Ah, the Karen device. Overspiced? Hello. A freaking break. Six hours? Six hours. What's next? Well, hello. The hoop. Look at the hoop. Portable window of the future. Castles can be such a dreary place. Now you can liven them up with the new portable window. In the world of tomorrow, travelers won't leave pleasant vistas up to chance. They'll carry their windows with them. Comes with pull down shade for portable privacy. Hi, Ian. Welcome to the stream today. Look at Leech. Bloodletting is a slow, painful process that barber surgeons now believe may actually be harming their patients. In the world of the future, giant leeches like this one will speed up the process tenfold. Sophie, you ready? Oh, I got the job for you. It's going great for Eric. How are you doing, though? Look at Marble! Marble. It's a Marble. Get Marble. Uh-oh. No, the troll! Look at Pedestal. Let me see. A leech. Okay. Look at Rubber Band. Oh! <gasps> Tired of losing the key to that ill, sorry, that all important piece of hardware? Just attach it to your belt and with this ring of the future, the key will always be available and because the ring is stretchable, there's no need to detach it when speed is your top priority. The Iron Maiden key ring. Okay. Exactly, Caffeine. I guess that's why they call them surgeons. Look at... What is that table Shade. For? It's a small piece of translucent material that is currently raised. Can I get shade for any reason? No. The shade's attached to the hoop. Alright. Look at... Table. Look at... Viper. Oh! Judicial innovation, trial by Viper. Years from today, our system of trial by ordeal will be regarded as barbaric. Replacing it with the more, replacing it will be the more scientific trial by Viper. Recent studies show that guilty people sweat more than innocent people, and that Vipers are particularly sensitive to the kind of sweat a guilty person produces. Trial by Viper will require both parties in a lawsuit to put their arms inside a Viper's cage. Blah, 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 Dude, I've been reading so much tonight. Because the Viper abhors the sweat of the guilty, it will bite the arm of the innocent man. Once the guilty party has thus been identified, the court will force him to pay restitution to the estate of the innocent man who will have died with the satisfaction of having given his life to the cause of justice. There you go. I think that's noble. I think that's quite noble. Welcome in, Blue X. Cheers, Ian. Blah. 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 All right. So I can't take anything because the damn troll comes by. Because the catapults, right? Look at catapults. 
the Cat Jet 3 Assault Catapult. This is a working model of the Cat Jet Assault Catapult. This weapon is years from completion, but when it goes into production, it will revolutionize the art of siege warfare. Note the sleek modern design. The new reduction gear when last will only take five passes to operate instead of the now standard 15. In addition, the casualty rate due to misfires will only be one death per six launchings. Higher trajectory for clearing castle walls. Special livestock option for flinging cows and other large farm animals. The deluxe model, the Louis XV edition, will have a special peasant switch to give new, me new meaning to the phrase, surfs up. Oh man. Who and I will be going? There you go. You should have stopped the catching bugs. Aloha. Rob? Thank you. A oh, Rod, Rod, Cooper Doodle. Thank you, Rob. You too. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Hi, two bussin. All right. Get catapult. What? And there's so much going on in this new area. I'm getting lost. Yeah, I, I added more color to the camera. I guess it got. I didn't realize it was so drained. I may have I may have put too much, but it's 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 an improvement. We'll get there. The guy of masters, welcome in. What am I gonna do? SVGA. That's right. <laughs> what time is it? Ten thirty. All right. So at a uh, read sign. At, a, at noon, I gotta be here for the Lily event. Technicolor. Look at all the colors you can see. The colors! Give berries to cook. Sorry, not in the recipe. Alright, look at. I'm making a porno. Fire. Just right for roasting the boar. Look at boar. Look at mouth. Look at skewer. The spit is hardworking and conscientious. It keeps the boar from falling into the fire, which is more than you've ever done with a boar. It's a good spit. The kind that would have made its mother proud, except spits don't have mothers, which is one reason they're all so melancholy. Yo! Hello, sir. Hi. How are you? Daryl, D Forte! Thanks for the 35 months! Good to see you, man. I'm trying to get through Eric the Unready. It's a legend entertainment game. We're in the fairgrounds now. And I'm just uh it's a it's a legend entertainment game. A lot of text. It's all it's all text. You're doing well? Oh good, oh good. I saw your stream where you're showing a Wizardry 8 for noobs. That was great. That was great. I may have to rewatch that. It definitely helped re inspire me to give the game a try. Let's go to the shooting gallery. Oh my god. A friendly looking Barker. The pavilion is long and narrow with three rows of moving targets at the far end. The Barker gives you a crossbow and says, Shoot at any target you like. Shoot Barker. Your finger twitches at the last minute and you've missed your target. Oh, no. All right. I can't, I can't, a pretty young woman comes up to the Barker and asks him for directions. You can go anywhere you want, baby, he says. Oh, uh, you can go anywhere you want, baby, and I'm just the man to take you there. The woman leaves in a hurry. What a creep. What is this guy? You're good. I'm glad to hear you're doing good, man. We'll get a... Bam! Gotcha. Oh, you saw that too, Kid Icarus? Amazonias? It's got Valkyries. There you go. I gotta transfer my team. I just... I haven't done that yet. I haven't had the courage to transfer my team from 7 to 8. It's gonna take so much work. This guy is very greasy. Oh, yes! Bend over, baby! I already tried to shoot him. Alright, ladies, welcome! Great prizes! Freed sign. That is what it says. Okay. 
Let's talk to Barker. You seem to be inordinately interested in wrenches. Wenches. Hey, chicks dig me. Why fight it? What do I get if I hit a target? What happened? No hat? A rubber chicken, a noisemaker, or a whoopee cushion. Well, it only su while supplies last. Okay. What's your best pickup line? I knew you needed help. Okay, well, listen up. Here's what you do. You take her hand. You look deep into her eyes. You tell her that your souls have called out to each other since the dawn of time. Then you say, want to fool around? Uh, it doesn't always work, but it windows out the duds in a hurry. That's my best pickup line. What's my best pickup line? Write that down, guys. Write that down. Then I see you on studs. What's studs? Is that a 90s thing? Nah, those guys are losers. Strictly amateur hour. All right. Is this guy like Andrew Dice Clay? Kinda. All right, it's, uh, bye. Bye. A good looking girl wanders by and Barker looks out a loud wolf whistle. All right. It's a bar? Oh. Razor Ramon? I don't know who that is. Welcome in, nurse nerd. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, let's shoot a target. Let's get a rubber chicken. Shoot target. Oh, my quarrel missed a TV show. Okay. Oh, I see. One of those things. Correct. Got it. Okay. Oh, it was a wrestler. Oh, I never watched wrestling. Sorry. Shoot target. Congratulations! He hands you a chicken. If you got the time, honey. If you have the beer. Oh, I've got the time if you got the beer. Okay. I got a chicken. Look at chicken. It's a limp rubber bird with scrawny yellow skin. Great. Shoot target. I got the whoopee cushion. Disgusting noise when you sit on it. Shoot target. Noisemaker. Oh, this would be good for the clowns. But I, I, I already mooned them and got the fool's hat. I think I got all the targets, guys. Shoot. He gives you an apologetic glance and says, You've already won everything I have, but you're welcome to keep practicing if you like. Hmm. Load crossbow. How many do I have? No needs already full. All right. Talk to Barker again. Okay. Bye. Studs. I guess he was on studs. What else do we have in here? Oh, that's my book. All right, the only issue I have is this game combines your inventory with the items in the game. Out. Out. No, he took my crossbow! That was the true... That was the true prize, Kid Icarus. We don't get it now. Alright, it's 10 o'clock. Almost 11. There's a show at what time? At 11. Let's see. 9. You can wait. Wait four minutes. The amphitheater fills up. A storyteller comes out onto the stage. All right. The story of the dragon. Once upon a time, a baby dragon was born to an overprotective mother who took the infant to the river of magic, which was renowned for conferring invulnerability upon those who bathe in its waters. Legend says, that when the mother dipped the baby into the river, the god of mischief snuck up behind her and tickled her. She almost dropped the baby into the river. But by some adroit juggling, 
managed to save the infant from drowning. As the baby grew to dragonhood, it became apparent that it was indeed invulnerable. Except for one spot that constantly shifted among the various places where its mother had touched it during its juggling act. Cloaked in its near-complete invulnerability, the dragon ravaged the countryside. By day, he lurked in his cave, guarding the raw stake of eternity and a magical ring he called his semi-precious. But by night, he emerged from his cave, filled with bloodlust, and every night he killed another unfortunate soul. All the best knights in the land came to do battle with him, and all were killed. Soon the remaining knights impressed upon the shop steward that assigning the dragon as a quest would prove more dangerous for the steward than for the dragon. But then there came into the land an intrepid courier of the royal males, Barchan of Kipchak. His regularly appointed rounds took him past the dragon's cave every day, and so he learned the, mother, the monster's dread habits. Barchan racked his brains and one day thought of how to bring relief to the land. He arranged for the dragon to be placed on the mailing list for every junk mailer on Taurus. Soon the volume of the dragon's daily mail was staggering. It took him longer and longer each day to go through it until he no longer had time to ravage the countryside. Barchan's stratagem was successful, but the courier paid with his life. He died of a hernia delivering the dragon's mail on a Wednesday following a four-day weekend. Now there is only one day a year when the dragon emerges from his cave. Each year on the anniversary of his courier's death, the dragon flies over the St. Burchan's Day Festival and swoops down to carry off a fair goer. The storyteller stands and seems to stare right at you. Today is the day of the dragon's flight, but none of you should worry. He seems only to attack extremely unlucky people. Oh. Okay. Diablo Head, welcome to the stream. Rat Clown Car, good morning, final girl. Another year? I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure, yes, it is. What time is it? 11.30? Let's wait till noon. Wait 28 minutes. Eh, maybe I'll save. Let's save 10. We're in the Renaissance Fair. Yep. Dude, I don't know what's going on. Wait 28 minutes. This game You're is bizarre. That's it. All right, the famous songstress, Lily, to the amphitheater. I don't know what to expect. Oh! Oh, my. Lily bumps and grinds her way to the edge of the stage and begins to sing. The temperature in the immediate area instantly... My name is Darling Lily, and I'm here to sing for you. My heart is in the right place, and my other parts are too. But any man who wants me has to pass a little test. So stay a while and listen, if you want to keep abreast. She shimmies over to the other side of the stage to sing the next verse. Two men in the front row pass out and are quickly re revived with buckets of water that are kept on hand for just that purpose. No food! I thought this would be a, a wholesome game! The test is very simple. It is a real boat. I'll run you up the maypole and watch you salute. Just bring back my clothing that sits atop that tree and you'll get in the garden to pick my floor de lis uh, What do I gotta do? Lily undulates back to the center of the stage to sing the final verse of her song. Everyone in the first two rows rushes toward the stage. They are beaten back by the security crew. Hey, smiling. Now, Helen had the features that could launch 10,000 ships, but I can bring them back here with the wiggle of my hips. So, come on, boys, and try it if you're tired of being chast. Because apples left unminded are a terrible thing to waste. Oh, she kept her top on. Guys, want want some porn? That's good. The crowd goes wild. Lily leans forward in a deep bow, which almost sparks off a riot. After an extended standing ovation, she finally blows some kisses to the crowd and leaves the stage. 
the amphitheater slowly empties, and after whatever, went by way too fast. Hey, Polly. What's up, Lord Pepe? All right, hands you a note. I saw you out flaunt doing the show. Please meet me in my dressing room. <laughs> what? Why would she? All right. I don't know where the dressing. I guess I go forward. Let's go. No. You gotta think it's really her. She ooed. All right. We're in the dressing room. <laughs> oh shit. Lily's boudoir is filled with feminine touches. It is oddly intimate for a room set in the middle of a fairground. In the face, you see a weed. All right. Elwick, how thrilling. She sits down and continues. I hope you enjoyed my show. I noticed you in the crowd and I couldn't help think to myself, wow, what a guy. She leans forward and purrs. I hope this will be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Good morning, Sal Samuel. Hello. Woo, woo, woo. Rough, rough. Talk to Lily. Mount Lily. That's an option. Hello, boys. I missed you. Alec, what a romantic way to greet a lady. Swing! Is that a pauldron in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? My goodness, what an expensive gown. Was it a gift? Yes, it was. And goodness had nothing to do with it. Is that a boa doing at the top of the maple? Now, what is your boa doing at the top of the maple? Right. I do not want my love to just any man. Bring me the boa as proof of your prowess. Then we can get down to brass tacks. What would a wedding ring? I have no idea, dude. Uh, is it true that they say about spending the night with you? It's true. It's true. Oh my god. How come you didn't have trouble with your R's on stage? It's curious, isn't it? The problem always seems to go away when I'm singing. Odds bargains, milady. I must cease this parlay. Very well. All right, we're in the dressing room. Oh, is it a Blazing Saddles reference? Oh, I haven't seen that in a while. Wig. <laughs> yeah, I think Ly Lilac got it too. All right, uh, look at Lily. She's a well, wow, beauty. Oh my god. Kiss Lily. Ooh. Unless you bring me the boa, Elwick, the amount of nookie you will see will be zero. Oh, crap. Give <laughs> chicken to Lily. How ordinary. All right. Uh, moon? Moon? Oh, Lily, why not? You bury your bomb at Lily, but she appears fundamentally unimpressed. Oh. Guys, how do we recover from this now? No, what do we do? We can't do a mount yet. Fart's not an option, is it? We did eat shit at the beginning of the game. That was funny. Hey, Bins. All right, well, we know what we gotta do. Uh, we got lamps. Look at, look at those lamps. A little light. Look at no picture. Look at plant. Look at weed. It's a frail weed. Get weed. Bring me the bow, I big boy. You can have anything you want. Oh, okay. Maybe I need the weed. That'd be some weird thing I need. Dude, my, my, my voices are getting really bad now. Ah, uh, give note to Lily. That was your note. Give cushion. Whoopee cushion. She doesn't want it. Put 
cushion on C. Oh my god! Look at C. There's no C. Look at Lily. She's a way of beauty. That's so good. What else is here? Be oh, my inventory is all fucked up, too. I got bellies instead of berries. I got a dwawing. Oh, that's the thing. Look at dwawing. How many points you guys have? Oh my god. It's a flamed dwawing of the actor. Robin Williams! Aww. <laughs> Look at dress. No. Hey, Pro Hexen. Get dwawing. Please leave that alone. It's private. Oh, it's private. Never mind. My bad. Uh, get keys in. I know. How sad, right? Yo, Phenomenon! Look at Adam's apple. Oh. Look at... Miwa? You see a hazy reflection of yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Look at... Wench? It's the Crescent Wench of Armageddon. One of the objects that Bud the Mighty Wizard said you will need. Alright, let's get out of here. Bye! Phenomenon, this game has been driving me nuts. It's... It's still a step below Eternam in insanity. Right? What, I, I've not played a lot of point and clicks. But Eternam is the top of the line. What the fuck am I playing? And then Eric the Unready is below it. Game harder? Uh, what well, haven't I haven't used a FAQ yet. Well, I'm getting there. We'll see. Yeah, uh, th thankfully the music does change. You think that's a lot of nuts? Watch, I got more nuts. Yes. Oh, I love your name. I had that when I was a kid. We got a lot of sounds from that game. Your car does not permit. I forget. Is it? What is it? He's a car. No. He's a car. Aw, oh, dude, I don't know what the commands are. Whatever, I don't know my own commands. That's embarrassing. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. Wait, what's what's the next, uh... The jugglers at 1 o'clock, guys. Let's I've wait 8 minutes. The same thing for, uh, 7 right. hours. Look. What happened? All the jugglers! That's what I want to know. They began tossing bizarre objects back and forth between them. After a while, they challenged people in the audience to toss them something they can't juggle. Alright. What do you want to throw at them? Pro? Chicken. At juggler. Here you go. Here's your freaking clowns. Ah, oh, the jugglers definitely catch the chicken. Juggle it for a while and then toss it back I've to you. On the same thing for, uh, Someone tosses hours. a lighted torch. The torture music. They don't care. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I think the, <laughs> the music just got bad, Daryl. Raiden! Guten Tag. Welcome in. Throw. What else do we have? Book at Juggler. Ah! Uh, No, nothing. Throw wrench at jugglers. Yeah, throw a wrench at them. No, throw cushion at jugglers. They toss a bar. What? So they do that one too. Throw pitchfork at jugglers. Try that one. No, they handled that one. Throw noisemaker at jugglers. No, nothing. Oh man. You got I think we should play Rubber Track again. We should just play that again. We should make that a monthly thing. From the start of the game? Uh there's like there's like chapter based and they take stuff away. A whoopee cushion. You sit on it. You 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 fill it up with air. 
and it kind of holds, and then you sit on it, and it goes... It's great. It's a prank. Throw cap at juggler. A flaming ball of pitch, and they juggled it. Throw note at juggler. Throw newspaper at juggler. Damn! Is that everything? Throw cord at juggler. Can I throw fair growers? Fair goers? At juggler? No, I don't have it. Throw Samuel? Throw all? Oh god, starting soon now. <laughs> Did I throw the berries? I threw the berries. Uh, throw... Fine print at juggler. Juggle that! You can't throw the fine print. That's everything. Oh my god. Did I- did I throw everything? Get signed. Alright, someone in the crowd tosses a contract written by a team of lawyers onto the stage. The jugglers field it flawlessly and work it- What?! A red hot poker! Slime wig up the stage. Crying baby onto the stage. A list of campaign promises onto the stage. A baby eel. Oh wow, it actually worked. Yeah, they handled everything. They finish the show and leave the stage. Wow. Did I... Wait, 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 did I lose something? No, no, the jugglers are gone. Okay, okay. Whatever. Let's get to the Maypole. We gotta, we gotta get Lily's... Willie's... ...thing here. Alright, climb Maypole. Damn. You make no progress. Really? High court to Maple. This game is us! Not with the grease girder of goo. What? L look at Maple. It's about 30 feet tall and greased within an inch of its life. From the very top How of the pole, a long red boa flutters invitingly in the breeze. Yeah. Look at boa! Get boa. You gotta climb that pole! It looks like Windows 3.1. It's actually DOS. I am writing this on DOS box. Uh, I don't know. I've been sucking on the same thing for... Uh, I don't know. I got a pitchfork. Poke Boa with pitchfork. Well out of reach. Okay. What else do we have? A chicken. Bro... Chicken at Boa. It falls to the ground. Get chicken. Get that chicken. Alright, what else we got? Hook. Boar. Boa. Fairies. Backpack. Apron. Apron. Look at... That's what he's wearing, huh? Get apron. Hands off! That's my favorite apron. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Wrench. Throw wrench at Boa. Nope. Get wrench. Um, it's greased up. Can I light it? You think so, Bishop? Poke apron with pitchfork. You're done. Nothing happens. Ah, uh, I guess it was too good. Well, try poking the chef. Poke chef with fork. It's just a saying for crying out loud. You have to do everything so literally. Oh. Sorry. Look at fire. Just right for roasting a boar. Push fire. 
high core to maple. So I can't because it's greased out. I core to pig. I core to ten. I core to fire. I don't know. I'm running out of ideas. Let's go back east. Here's the pillory. This guy's back. Oh, welcome back. Talk to prisoner. Oh, this game's getting harder and harder. What's your name? Thethel Thimpleton. Mm -hmm. Same thing? Okay, same thing. What do we have? I cord to... Nope. Fool's cap. Put cap on prisoner. It's not his size? Cushion on pillory. No! Oh my god. East. Here's the fool's pillory. Here's where the uh, the clowns were. Now get up there and act stupid. Talk. Oh, they kick you out. What the fuck do I do with the freaking chicken? I gotta give it to somebody. Give chicken to chef. Nope. Give cushion to chef. Ask. Talk. Maybe he'll tell me something new. How do I get into this thing? Who gets to eat the boar? What's up with the red scarf? Yes, you can call him Chrome Dome in that game. Can I still go south? This is where Harold was? Ah, Harold. Talk to Harold. Um, about the fair. Did they throw out? Exactly, Alex. Exactly. Um, is the dragon gone? That's where the steak. So the the end goal is to get this steak. The raw steak of eternity. Unfortunately, the dragon doesn't like that idea. Harold the Herald. Now, the guy did say that the unlucky people will get taken by the dragon. So what if I do some more games of chance and lose? We might get the attention of the dragon. That's good. You, sir, would you like to play? Twelve elf. Not really, but yes, I do. I think I just type play. Wow, play. look at those graphics! Certainly, sir! All right, where's the P? I gotta pick the shell. Ah, M! Whoa, that was a big raid. That's a big raid. What's up, M Zizzy? What's up? What's up, guys? Welcome to Retro Online Gaming. My name is Andrew. Cheers, everybody. Good day. We got Slim Flat Glamour Power. Ken is coding. Hi, Ken. Welcome in, guys. We're playing Eric the Unready. I'm terrible at this game so far. Pixel Turkey! What's up, Pixel? Hey, Armin! Hey, Tony! Something happens! What's happening? What's happening, guys? Oh, hat's on! Let's put our fool's hat on. Uh, Armin, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. It only gets worse. We we met with Lily, where uh, she, she couldn't talk properly. We're trying to get to the Maypole. Where? What? No! You just got the hat! I've been bald for like five hours! Oh, there goes the hat. It was a good hat. Sonneveld! Good to see you! Uh, Fox, good to see you as well. Michael, Mr. Greeny, sup? What's up, guys? Hey, Fragmental Stew. Man, I know. 
cat's gone. Hi, Helvetica. All right, I, let's let's re shout out. That was insane. That was insane. There you go. I've been sucking on the same thing hey. for uh, seven hours. Just chatting. What were you just chatting about? How was what was what was the stream like, guys? How did it go today? We're in the fairground right now. I don't know how far I am in this game. I have no idea. Welcome to my All right, I gotta pick a shell. <laughs> let's say, uh, let's go with blue again. Blue shell. No! Sorry, better luck next time. Oh, he's stealing my life. Oh, the musician came by. What is going on in the game now? Tony giving a gift sub. Thank you, Tony. Damn, thank you. Put the hat on. I gotta wait for the next wizard duel. It's on cooldown. <laughs> um, I'm starting to get stuck in this. He does look like a cop. All right, let's play again. The ghouls. All right, certainly, sir. He shuffles the shells. Where's the pee? Uh. Blue shell. Come on, man. Nothing. How does he always win? Talk to musician. You played FBI Epic Simulator and Safe Unlocking Simulator. Classics. I've not played those. I have not played those games. You're doing some DOS, though. Good, good. I, 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 I'm so glad we got more PC streamers. It's so good. It's so good. The Twitch retro category is just kicking ass lately. Thank you. FBI ethics. I don't even know what the hell that is. How do you keep beating the elf? He has magic. I have mine. Nice shades. Yeah. I want the woodcut. Later, dude. Hey, yo! Good point, Kaligula. All right. Give chicken to musician. No thanks. All right. I'm here to play the damn game. Where's the pee? The blue shell. I lost again. Oh no. Oh, am I doing this wrong? We're gonna die. Quandaries, is that that's the one? Oh man. Ken, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Am I wearing the cap? Put on the fool's cap. Play. Where's the where's the key? Alright. He's got his magic. I don't know what his magic is. The three shells work. Oh, yeah, they they got me. Good morning, Raspinall. Hello there. Hey Bilbus. We're playing a point and click game without the clicking and pointing, just the typing and texting. Ah. Oh. I'm literally just fumbling so bad tonight. And it's been nonstop reading. And he's cheating somehow. I don't know how he's cheating. I wanna I wanna somehow use the reflection. Look at sunglasses. Look at sunglasses. They're really cool shades, man. Oh, don't worry, Ken! Yo, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, I, I play all sorts of shit here. Uh, we got a wizard duel going on. There we go. Pepperoni pizza man, gonna do it. One more ice blast. Yes. I try. I did. I tried. I tried Quest for Glory Five. That shit doesn't work. Oh, uh, you know what? All right. Since you guys are all here, since you guys are all here, I have a new pair of shorts. I've been showing it off. Yes, that's right. That's right. New pairs of shorts. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at these. That's No, no more, no more blue shorts. Mom, they're calling me fancy. That's right. Fancy. Oh, we want to go look at. We got fancy. Okay. We got fancy up in here. Mom, the bald guy is on. Yeah. 
Well, How you doing, Jeff? Mr. Bond? Zero Dine yeah, hanging out in Seaver? Hey, T Cod. You got it in DOS box. Oh, good for you. I don't. That's right, Mr. Greaves. Thank you. Cool shades, man. Doing good? Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm trying to beat an elf at a game. I can't do it. Yo, thanks for the Hans 10, Jeff. I have a whoopee cushion. Oh, man. What else do we have? I got a noise maker. Use noise maker. I don't even know what the hell that is. Play noise maker. Makes a poor musical instrument. Okay. Uh, talk to. No, he doesn't have anything new to say to me. Hydration! Oh, thank you. Yo, thanks to the pod gang, Nursner. I talked to him, he just says, I have my magic, he has his. I know, he's got three hands. They don't even move, he just stares at me. Oh, he's creepy. I hate him. Kill elf. Shame on you. Beating up on my a poor little George. elf. He kicks you in the shins. What's up, Synthropy? Kick elf. He threw me down? I would love. I hope that's a. I hope that's a thing. Look at shell. Look at red shell. <sighs> Smell blue shell. Has not much of an odor. Maybe I can smell the pee. Yeah, we did talk to him. I'll play your game. All right. Where's the pee? Smell red shell. No. Oh, you lose. What do you mean I lose? That's where I want to be. You feel a few minutes older. <sighs> no, you can't. Unfortunately, when it comes to talking to people, you can't pick anything. Cage cleaner. Yeah, we already asked about these. That's right. I hide the pee. You try to find it. This bastard. Yeah. I don't know how to win this. I don't know. I don't know if I if I have what I need to do this. I, what I need to do is get to the. This is what I need to do. Here's what I need to do, as far as I know. I gotta get the raw meat of eternity, but the dragon is guarding it. I gotta get to the top of the maypole and steal the boa. Look at, oops. What's up, Wayfang? Look at boa, all right? There's a beautiful red scarf that unfortunately is far over your head. I can't get it. I try to climb the maypole but I make no progress. And I, I can't tie anything to it. I don't have anything. Throw chicken at Boa. It falls to the ground nearby. Yeah, I don't know what the pig is missing. I think it's missing... In Lily's room, there is a weed that might be an herb that the chef wants. So I might be able to help Lily and then help the chef. That's all I can think of. East. And I don't know what to do with this weirdo. There's a guy in the pillory too. Ah, oh, they give me too many things to do. Yeah, I tried the pitchfork. 
is a clumsy wooden affair with holes for neck and wrist. Now we did, at one time, we got stuck in the pillory. That's when I spit. If you go this way, in the Fool's Pavilion. I passed the test, and I got the hat. They gave me the Fool's Cap. Maybe I can get the cap this way. Give cap to prisoner. Here you go. Sorry, I'm not in a position to accept your generous offer. Okay. Hi, Mazeppa. Hey, Sushi. Whoops. The Unready, yep. Eric the Unready, we're playing as a knight who's a... He's stuck doing a quest that no one thinks he can solve. We're gonna do it anyway. Give cap to Chef. Give cap to... Whoa, look at this wizard! At home in the boar's mouth. I don't know if I have him, but the noisemaker? What's a noisemaker? Look at noisemaker. Maker in pit. Yeah. Pull up book, bungee cord, chef, apron, berries. I think I tried putting the berries in the pig. Put berries in pig. Ugh, what else is in my inventory? Alright. Then the weed. We could be missing something. Yeah, J Dog, Jake, welcome in. So here's my inventory. Here's what I actually have. And a chicken. Make a chicken pig thing. And then a turkey. Chicken and pig. Yeah. It would not be home in the boar's mouth. Yeah, no shit. Newspaper and pig, obviously. Give, you don't want the hat? Give cap to chef. I mean, a ha an apple would be nice, but I don't have an apple. There doesn't seem to be any apples here. Look, read sign. I did try to poke him with the fork, and he got, he got upset. The next one is at 3 o'clock. There's no more Lily until tomorrow. Hmm. What's up, Leoric? Can I go back in here? Okay, here's Lily. Sorry, I suck at this game. She's got the weed. Smell weed. Not smell Lily. What does she smell like? Not much of an odor. Right. Talk to Lily. Take your damn clothes off. Hello, boys. I missed oh, my you. Neighbor Smoky Pot. Bye. She gave me a quest. Unless she wants the cap. No, she wants the... Oh, the pavilion of tomorrow. Okay, what's in here? Oh, boy. You get a hoop, a chamber pot, a rubber band. Odd-looking kitchen device. Did I do that yet? That's the, uh... crush o <sighs> A gong... Hit gone. Display not touch, said the troll. Oh no. I tried to get the band. You take the band. Oh, what? Now the first thing I try to get. Look at band. It's just a medium-sized rubber band, but it looks pretty strong. Hold it. The ghouls? 
look at, okay, thank you chat, thank you chat, thank you chat. Uh, there's a hoop, a chamber pot, an odd looking kitchen device, a viper's cage, a gong, a model, a model of a catapult, and an art park. Give me the damn art park. He was on the cover, right? Mm. No. Uh, device? E. Sorry. Get. Get the model. Oh, he's pissed. Get viper. Get the cage. Bolted the cage to the table. All right. Uh, unbolt Cocaine cage. Hell of a drug. Use wrench on cage. Cage cleaner. Uh, un tight in cage with wrench. Examine cage. It has a hole big enough. I know. Hey, Flan. Welcome in. Examine leech. A single huge sucker. Use wrench. That's a nice hole. I don't know if use is a word. All right, click. Oh my god. There's too many verbs. Cover, credits, cross, cut, dance, descend, destroy, dig. Am I gonna need to use these? Duck, eat, empty, exit, feed, fill, follow, free, get, give, greet, help, hide, hint, hit, hoot, hop, insult, inventory, jump, kick, kill, kiss, kneel, leave, let, lie, lie down, lift, light, listen, listen. Make, melt, melt, move, music. No, notify, offer, open, order, pick. Pick, pry. Pry, cage, with French. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I know, right, Mace? In case you didn't have a dictionary, we uh, brought one for you for the, in the game. Raise, read, remove, replace. Store, ring, roll, run, search, set, shoot, show, shut, sing, sit, sleep, smell, spin, squat, stand. Maybe don't actually use the wrench. Oh no. Unscrew. Oh no. Unscrew cage. The cage can't be unscrewed. Oh, really? With the wrench? With the wrench. The leech and I? I don't know. Smell the aardvark. You really want to know what that smells like. Not much of an order, sadly. Alright. Uh, what else do we have here? Look, bolt. There's no bolt here. Cage on screen. Toss. What do you want to toss? What's the hoop? Whoops! Bolts into the table! And what about the chamber pot? As you reach for the chamber pot, your hand accidentally brushes up against the catapult. Oh god, get that dog out of my What's face! Yeah, cheat. Hey, Frostitution, welcome in. Uh, fling. Toss band at Viper. If okay, you throw it. All right, get band. Toss band at leech. Get band. Oh no, what am I doing? Uh, put cap on Viper. Put cap on catapult. Look at marble. It's a small black marble the size of a large beetle. Get marble. So you reach for it, your fingers brush against the cat jet and launch a mechanism. Ah! Get 
get device. Okay, I tried the leech, right? Got the leech. What can I use a leech for? Look at leech. A huge sucker. This is an insane person here. It's insane. This is the same. It's this. It may as well be a point and click. If I had to use the the keyboard, it makes no difference. A huge sucker. Oh, can I use a sucker for? Maybe to get the grease. I don't know. Oh. Ow. E. What? Sal. East. Is your show over? Alright. Can't wait for the show to end. The crush o -matic? It says it crushes vegetables and stuff. It's like... It's like some sort of a... You are a infomercial thing. It slices. It dices. E. Use... What? Use sucker on maple. They don't like the word use, huh? Put leech on maple. Not worth the effort. We got paused and orange comfort. Welcome in, guys. Hello. Suck my maple. Ah. Give leech to chef. There you go. Sorry, not in the recipe. What else did we find? Give band to chef. Put leech in pig. Put band in pig. Tie cord to band. If I try to apply, apply leech to maple. Oh well. You wanna, you wanna suck that elf? He's an asshole. Are you still in the stockade? Yes. Apply leech to prisoner. I'm an asshole. A legal nymph from the firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howell appears and says, You've got good instincts, kid. You'll make a fine lawyer one day. Look us up when you finish your quest. The police nymph appears, frees the victim from the stocks, and escorts him away. What? Uh, what cushion? On uh, rid of that shit. Whatever, I want to work. Uh, tie band to pillory. You can't! Tie cord to pillory. I guess they let the kid go. I don't know what happened there. That's all very confusing. Lawyers equal leeches. Oh no. Is my leech? I still got the leech. I wonder where he goes. Okay, I haven't really been reading this. A wall a whole boar's roasting on a spit. Really cooked. Gaining areas lie to the west and northeast. Right, we did the northeast one. Is it car talk? Okay, you don't need to use W and yeah, whatever. Northeast. Yeah, there's a there's a score. Three hundred. Well, that's a hundred more than we had last time. This guy. Talk to. Barker. Hi, Ghost Hall. Okay. And I am Bigfoot's ghost. Good to see you, man. Welcome in. This is gonna take a long time. Dana, I suck at these games. Say bye. Hope you're doing well, guys. Welcome in, welcome in. I've been a little stuck in this amphitheater area. 
I guess Duke does not know me at all. <laughs> Noisemaker. I'm getting a lot of stuff, but I'm not making any progress. The stupid thing said I would be unlucky. That's my best pickup line. Maybe I do have to wait a whole day. Maybe I gotta wait for Thursday to come around. I hate this freaking elf. Use leech on elf. Bits. Oh boy. Apply leech to elf. Machine gun, thank you for the 70 bits. No. The elf turns his attention elsewhere. <laughs> Play. All right, where's the P? It's the blue shell. Sorry! Better neck lax time! <sighs> okay, what else do we get? Give. Oh, wait, didn't that guy? He wanted to read. Give maker to musician. No thanks. Give band to. Talk to this Musician. Do you want the. No thanks. No! Seventy bits. Oh boy. What? Save for the seventy bits. Actually, the one sixty-nine. Oh, look at that. Break noise maker. Nice. Hmm. Look. I can't get the woodcut. Nowhere else to go. Jesus Christ, Denton. Oh my god. This I haven't been reading a million things for once. You'll meet the fair by going south. Bum 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 bum. Who's next? Play. All right, where's the P? Uh, it's never the blue shell. Okay, here's the music. Talk to musician. What's your deal? How do you play that thing? Well, I can't. It's missing a read. If I don't get one soon, I'll lose my job. All right, why do you keep playing the game and turning down the woodcuts? There's no one. Nice shades. Thanks, they're polarized. He has magic, I have mine. How do you do it, musician? What is your deal? Alright. What do I have? Give leech to musician. No thanks, and he fucks off. Damn it. Does he come back? No. There he is. Dana's got it figured out. I got the whoopee cushion. Give cushion to musician. No thanks. Uh, I don't really know what a read is. Hey, Mad Marky. There's a tree here. Look at tree. And he's gone. Climb tree. Hey, keep away from there. If you want the woodcuts, you'll have to beat me at the shell game. Get. Oh, God, you're freaking shell game. Give cap to elf. You want the cap? No, thanks. Give band to elf. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go south. Look at spit. That doesn't tell me anything. South, talk to the Herald again. Win at shell game. <sighs> this game got, got me stuck now. I was making good progress. Now it's just like, forget it. Yeah, it's the game. If I press escape, or sorry, if I press backspace, it deletes it. If I do it one more time, 
There you go. Beep beep. Talk to Harold. Oh, is that what it sounds like? Oh, I didn't even recognize that. Is that a tip? I might need to get a tip. Um, I just don't know what the... Oh, what I gotta do? I have to do? I don't understand what this one means. Tell me about voodoo. What would a wedding be? This is the way to the dragon. There's the dragon. So that's the item I need. I need to get that damn stake of eternity. Uh, he's, he's got a ring as well. I don't see a ring anywhere. Oh, it's sitting on top of the cushion. Oh. Uh, anyway, you can just dodge him. You can just dodge the guy. Hydration? Thank you, automatic me. Protect your chest from his flames. That's right. Give cap to Harold. Give berries to Harold. He just ignores me? I gotta deal with the maypole. I think I gotta deal with the maypole. But I don't know if I can. Punchy cord. Chef. Talk. Talk to the chef. Who gets these to board? Alright. What are you waiting for? Could it be? He forgot something. What does he need? The herbs, the spices, the special sauce, the sesame seed bun? All right, barbecue meat will give you carcinogens. That's right. Call you chrome dough and doesn't like that. And the red scarf. Right. You got Balder. You got Balder. I don't care what you call her. I don't care what you call her. Athelred the Unready facts. Athelred two, yes. known as Athelred the Unready, oh. was king of the English from 978 to 1013, and again from 1014 until his death in 1016. One, his epithet does not derive from the modern word unready, but rather from the old English unread meaning poorly advised. It is a pun on his name, which means well advised. Ah. There you go. Uh, Seaver, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're fine, L. Eric. Don't worry, man. Don't worry, man. How you doing? I'm playing a uh, bizarre adventure game today. I, I got to a point where I can't progress, and it's driving me nuts. Welcome back, welcome back. Let's just, I gotta just give everybody everything until something works. Not ready for this, yeah. I'm not either. Give chicken to chef, you want hey, that? Brother. Not in the recipe. Buy some compasses? Read. Maybe I gotta... Maybe I can read the book during the juggling show. Oh no, they're... There you go. <laughs> Give cap to chef. You want that? Give leech to chef. Give newspaper to chef. Give maker to chef. Give note to chef. Give inventory. Give cushion to chef. It's in different order. Give pitchfork to chef. Give cord to chef. Sorry. Uh, give wrench to chef. Okay, doesn't want anything. Yeah, the text ones can be really tough. There's only, it, it opens up so many more possibilities. Read sign. Yeah, I've given the berries before. Give berries to chef. Ah, uh, give berries to. You gotta type it all out too. Sorry, not in the recipe. Yeah, I've tried that numerous times. Read sign. What's the next big event? 
Wait. Oh my. Wait six hours. Can you wait six hours? Suddenly out of nowhere, the thugs hard by Sir Pectoral appear before you. Thought you'd given us the slip, did you? Wrong. He swings a spice, a spiked make his, ugh, a spiked mace at your head, and the last words you ever hear are, "Nighty night." You spend the better part of eternity believing that wasn't the blow from the mace that killed you, but the atrociousness of the pun. You have failed. Undo. Uh oh. Oh, we might be soft locked. Oh no, today's events. I don't know if it's a timeline or not. Playmaker. Uh oh. Retro Slam Gaming. Uh oh. Hey PS1. Welcome in. That's it. We're soft locked. Quit the game. Oh no. Fuck. I may have had to read the book during the juggling Page act. Cleaner. Usually they let you know if you're soft locked. <sighs> Save. All right. Waiting, waiting, restore. We'll go back to Lily. Was this before or after the Lily? I got the note, read note. Okay. You got it, PS1. You got one of them. All right. Talk to Lily. Did I talk to you already? Talk to Lily. I don't know if I gotta type this again. I gotta get her the red boa. Bye! Ow. Okay. Well, good thing I saved. I don't know what's up with the weed. We're gonna find out. Hmm. Unwinnable conditions? I know. They were doing good until this one. Okay, we want to wait for 23 minutes. Time passes. It's juggler time. All right. Read book. Uh. What the fuck? Damn it. Oh my god. What if I load the elf? Which one is this? Music. Let's see what time it is. Tiberius, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Bum 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 bum. Bye, elf. Alright, this is before or after the leech. Yeah, welcome in, welcome in, Alona. Give leech to ship. No leech. It's two o'clock. Oh no, Lily. <sighs> Lily's second show. Deja Vu does? Yeah, a lot of them love doing that. Alright. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Alright, we can throw the leech. Get leech. Get banned. We can try throwing this at the jugglers. What's up, Navard? Welcome in. Asking for a friend, Mazeppa? 
South, 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 east, 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 east. Come on, come on. Yeah, there's a lot I have not played, Eric. Deja Vu is one I've not played. Why Leech to Prisoner? Oh, that doesn't. No, that was just a coincidence that they let him out. I don't care. No wonder I was so confused. I was like, what the fuck? North. Okay. TV Prime, welcome in. No, no berries. Bye, final girl. Have a good day. Read sign. Okay, so three o'clock. Wait. Hold on, my, my brain's not working. There we go. Got it. Good games over here. Hope all is well, Rick. No, I'm glad to see you today. Oh but yeah, don't good. Don't think you're gonna get away with a TTS with no spam, 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 spam. Really? Perfect timing. They got the clown music. Thank you, PS1 addict. Thank you. Oh, not the R R R. Anything but that. Anything but that. Anything but that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. How you doing, man? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Anything but they are. Uh. Oh, leech at juggler. All right. You toss the leech to the jugglers. As soon as one of their special gloves touches the huge sucker, the leech sticks fast. Another no, juggler no, comes no, over no. to try to help. But his glove gets stuck as well. It quickly becomes apparent to the crowd that the jugglers have failed the challenge. And they begin to boo. The performers sheepishly remove their gloves, drop them on the stage, and slink away. Once they are gone, the amphitheater quickly empties and the leech crawls away. Score has just gone up. What? Hey Phoenix, welcome in. Robo Track. I I I have that file. You ruined it, the game! This is my favorite game! And you ruined it! On the stage you see some gloves. Oh, oh! Wear gloves. Look at gloves. Tiny suckers, got it. They were cheating, huh? They were cheating. All right. Climb. Oh my God, please be the... All right, the club stick the pole like jelly to the baby's face. You clamber up to the top of the pole and pluck the ball up from its perch. You wave it over your head in triumph and then slide back down to the ground where you are greeted with cheers from the assembled crowd. Yay! Look at Boa! It's a beautiful red scarf! North! Alright! Holy crap, we did it! Took way too long. Sorry, guys. What's up, ye? Are you ready for this? No, just save over. 12 now. Just save it over. Alright, let's go talk to Lily. I will say that the Jeopardy moment in this game was ridiculous. All right. Ewick, how thrilling. I'm delighted to see you again so soon. Especially if it means you have recovered my boa. All right. I, I did recover your boa. Give boa to Lily. All right, before we give her the boa, let's take a quick break. I need to just get up for a brief second and then uh, not not go insane. I'll be right back. Give me just like a minute and a half. I know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tease. I'm sorry, it's a tease, but just give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. You get ready, get ready, Special I'm Chief. Get ready, guys. This should be good. I, I'm excited to see how this goes. Hang tight. See you guys in like a minute, minute and a half, two minutes. I don't know. Better be some good stuff. Ask 
just what I was looking for. I circumflex you, circumflex, I circumflex you, circumflex, I circumflex. Chair health in good shape. How many points do you guys have? Woo, Pudge! How many points do you guys have? Flex, I circumflex, I circumflex, you 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 circumflex. Amaranth is gonna finally notice me. No, you swallowed the Koopa! Boobs! Pop one's boobs! Ah. What the fuck? No, the keto bars! Oh no! I don't know what happened. Whatever happens while I'm away, happens. My chair is stuck. Okay, there we go. All right. Are you guys ready to see what Lily has in store for us? Is she going to teach us a magic spell? An El Dorado happened in the Wizard Powers. Thank you. Thank you, Ice Wizards. Thank you. Oh, good timing then, I'll tell you. Seaver, thank you, Seaver, for the 100 bits. Thank you. I'll turn this thing back up. Right, let's turn this down. Let's go here. And let's, uh, let's turn the Lily music up. All the way up. Oh, Alec, how thrilling. She throws her arms around you and gives you a kiss. Then she wraps the boa around your neck and says, You may wear this Sometimes as my champion. I dream about Cheese. As you begin the second half of the quest to prove that you love me. Second part? But I did as you asked! Repelling up a greased pole shows agility, Eric. And agility is nice, but it doesn't prove that you have the strength and daring I crave. To demonstrate that, I must ask you to bring me the head of the ravenous Waven of Wangoon. She hands you the weed. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, Ant. Hey, Woodchuck. Hey, Weird Beard. This is crazy. What would a wedding wing? Kawaii, that's a man. From the vase. The Waven will eat oh, anything, as his name implies. But he especially loves this kind of weed. You can use it as bait to entrap him. Ah, uh, just what I was looking for. She hands All you the right, weed. Let's the get weed, blue balls. The weed one. I got the weed, Zophar. What's up, Zophar? No word yet. Okay. No word yet from Zophar. Thanks, Zophar, for the 100 bits. Hi, Amethyst. Yeah. This your, is this your I'm girl? Look high. at Lily. She's a wow beauty. Talk to Lily. Okay, she wants me to. Choo choo. Prove I have the strength and daring. The head of the ravenous raven of Rangoon. How the, what even is that? What even is that? No word, okay. 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 Uh, just what I was looking for. Oh, 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 Thank you, oh, PS1 for no, the 100 bits. Thank no, you, Power Down, no, for the 100 no, bits. No, 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 and we got a high train. No, no, no. Have you ever thought about applying for a patent on personal quotation devices? No, 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 oh, Eric, you say the nicest things. What have a sudden craving for apple cider? May these bits slightly dull your pain. Thank you, Goblin Slayer. A way of beauty. Thank you, Goblin Slayer. Thank you again, PS1 Eric. Thank you. It must be all the cunt sweet freshness that surrounds you. 
Okay, repeat after me. Round the rugged rocks, the ragged rascal ran. Oh, Eric, you ridiculous rascal. What fun we will have once we have brought me all the ravenous waving of Wangoon. Godspeed, my lady, I must go now. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh. Weak yeah, sign. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We get uh, one more jugglers. Yeah, I think the jugglers uh, are done though. You're angry. Yeah, I, me too. Uh, yeah, I know. What did uh, we get? Yeah. Oh. The yeah, weed. All right. Let's get the weed to the chef. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How'd the uh, game been so far, yeah, Wig? Uh, yeah. It's pretty. It's, yeah, it's pretty insane. Uh, yeah. Oh. There's no weed. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, a read! Donate these bits in honor of my who was kind enough to tell me you were playing Sick Tuesday and you'll be on next day. I'm an idiot! I get it now! Oh, it was not a it's a read! It's a read! The reeds! The reeds! Alright, I got it. Look guys, I've been on for eight hours. I don't know what the fuck is happening, alright? I don't know what's what's going on. Thank you, PS1. Thank you, Goblin Slayer. Thank you, Seaver, for the 169. Thank you, Goblin Slayer, for the 200 bits in honor of Raspinall. Ah! Oh. That's right. My schedule changes a little bit now and then. Hi, Master Gregory. Yeah, I goofed. All right, I goofed. Uh, I'm glad you guys for. got that and didn't Please spoil it. Thank you for not spoiling it. My head dent's gonna need more than that, sadly. It's bad. If you want to see the head dent, you want to see two, 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 two. two, two it's two, bad. Two, it's bad. Two, oh. two, two, oh. two, two, oh. two, two, oh. two, 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 Cover the shame! Don't God! Just sent a one two, dollar high two, chat for thirty two, seconds. Two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two. Thank you for the. What we got? We got gift subs. Thank you, Saver, for the two gift subs. Thank you, man. Two, 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 two. two, two, two Another one, and now we're okay. Enjoy your gift subs. Enjoy, enjoy. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Two. Thank you for the two hundred bits, Goblin Slayer. Thank you, Samson, for the hundred bits. Any cat with the hearst. Two, Thank you. Two, no, no, two, 420. Cancel two, on the 420. Two, two, that was my fault. Two, two, uh, two, Samson, thanks for the one two, American two, dollar. Two, that USD! Two, thank you. And thank two, you again, Goblin two, Slayer. Two, two, Zero two, nine, thanks for the hearst. Two, All right. Two, two, West. Two, I keep two, wanting to use my numpad to walk around. Two, two, you can't do two, it in this game. 22, two, 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 two. I don't do it. Elf. Two, Two, Yo, two, you sir, you wanna two, play? Two, two, All right, where's the P? Two, the blue show. Two, 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 twenty-two. Better luck next time. Of course. Holy fuck, that is bad so more. That's a bad den. I know. Yeah, it's so scary. What looking for. Oh. Thank you. Thanks, Goblin Slayer, for another 200 bits. Yeah. Yeah. Samson uh, with the 100 yeah. bits. Thank you. Uh, oh, Sam Hain. Sorry, yeah. Sam Hain. Uh, I can read. Yeah. I can read. Uh, Thank you, Sam Hain, for the hundred bits. Uh, Hammer, hamster yeah. on the road. Thank uh, you for the hundred bits. Thank you as well. Uh, just yeah. sent a one dollar. Thank you, Samson, for the one dollar. Thank you. Uh, I can read. Let me get the. Uh, oh God. Sound request from Piggy. Okay. Just bring this up. Oh, yeah. I'm a little yeah. disorganized uh, today. Yeah. Small yeah. kind, right? Small kind is work. Yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't look yeah. at the read. Uh, yeah. Look at uh, read. Yeah. Uh, it's a fail yeah. read. Give uh, read to yeah. musician. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. I'm back oh. in business. Is there anything I can repay you? 
Well, now the that you mention it. The of Wangoon waded the royal residence, whipping and weening the Vishwots and Wonks, waffling the weeds of the Weed the Wooster and wobbing the Wobby Wing of the Wooloo. Ah, uh, just the Wooloo. Thank people. you, hamster. Thank you. I donate good. these bits in honor of all the cool people in the chat that can't afford donations Thank you. times. Thank you. This is for you guys. Thank you, Goblin <laughs> Sir. It's very kind of you. Thanks for the 600. Good luck to that with Goblin Slayer. Thank you. Oh, PS1, I thank you for the 200 uh, bits there. They, and Goblin Slayer. I donate these bits until I ran out of things to type fuck it. Thank you for the, the 300 bits as well. Thank you for the support, guys. Thank you. Well, level 2 high train done. That's amazing. Thank you, guys. Hey, Hospex. The Witcher. It's, uh, two, it's 3 a.m. where I'm at. And I got, like, four hours of sleep. And I did a 12-hour stream yesterday, so. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I sponsor thanks to the host. Just a little out of it. I've been reading all night. It's been a lot of uh, words coming out of my mouth, best as I can. A look through those sunglasses. All right, you can keep them. It's small enough reward for what you have done for me. All right, we got the glasses. Wear sun. Oh, I better save. Drink. You better freaking save. Save that elf. It's bad for my dent. I think you're onto something, Jay. Good morning, motherfucker. Ra, 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 Good morning. Ra, ra, Thank you. Ra, 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 Thank you, Pizza Lawyer. How you doing, Pizza Lawyer? Good morning. More Tomb Raider. Oh, God, the R's. What's up with the R's lately? All right. Wear sunglasses. Are we going to have a they live moment? No. I'm on to you, Elf. I got my magic. All right, enough talk. Let's go. We got this. We got this. Thank you, Pizza Lawyer, for the 100 bits. We got two minutes left in the high trade if you want to join. Level two already done. Play. Certainly, sir, says the Elf. He puts the P under the red shell and starts moving the shells around. After a moment, he stops and says, All right. Where's the P? The magical glasses rule that the P is under the red shell. Oh, you're fucked, dude. Give me that. I want that woodcut of Lily. And uh, what else we got? And I want, I want your time. The elf's face falls, and he looks up quite a bit older. You win. He gives you the woodcuts. I've got to go find a spot where people don't have glasses like that. I'm not getting any younger, you know. He packs up his gear and leaves. All right. Look at woodcut. It's a collection of woodcuts. Mac! Mac, 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 thank you for the 100 bits. What's up, Mac? Silhouettes of Lily in a variety of poses that make your eyeballs sweat and your ears steam. Whoa! I know, they're cowards. How dare they? But what do I... What was this? The rascally wagon? What do I have? Inventory. Punchy cord, pulse cap. No apples. You are wearing so I look like a fool. I'm wearing a boa? Okay. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Monty Avocado as well. Mac with all the bits? Oh, we got a few seconds left. I don't know, is the high train gonna go? PS1 and I thank you for the hundred bits as well, dude. Thank you guys. Few seconds, few seconds. What are the woodcuts for? I don't know. Yeah, we gave her the the boa already. But she wanted something else done, but it didn't make any sense. I did talk to her. And masturbated in public and pointed at people with his middle finger, which was considered insulting. The one guy? Now he's gone. The one guy every day. If I can lose one follower every day, we'll we'll get there. We'll get back to the 12k follower special. 
What news of the Waven? All right, let's talk to Lily. Tell me more about this uh, Waven. That's what I was looking for. I circumflex. Nothing. You circumflex. Absolutely nothing. I circumflex. You circumflex. You circumflex. The high train done. All right, high train has passed. Thank you guys. Level two high train. You there it goes. Bye, high train. I circumflex. That was three thousand five hundred and sixty-nine bits and two subs. That was a heavy bit train. I like those, those bit trains. You circumflex. Bit trains are great. Thank you guys so much. You Let's uh, go back to the clown music. You circumflex. You circumflex. You circumflex. Thank you, thank you, Brian. Brian's gonna help me out. You circumflex, you circumflex, I you circumflex. circumflex. You circumflex. Alright, that's Lily. Milwa. Look you at Milwa. You circumflex, I circumflex. You Here's circumflex. Your reflection of yourself. I circumflex. You circumflex, you circumflex, I circumflex. You Remove circumflex. I circumflex. You circumflex, you circumflex, I circumflex. You circumflex. It's got some weird stuff. You put up. Why not? You circumflex. Wear you circumflex. I circumflex. You now wear the you fool's cap. Circumflex. I circumflex. Wear. You circumflex. You circumflex. Band? I circumflex. You circumflex. I circumflex. You circumflex. You circumflex. I circumflex. Hi, Jummy Yummy. Welcome you in. You circumflex. I circumflex. You circumflex. You Don't worry. Circumflex. She's got. She's got threads across. You circumflex. I circumflex. You I don't know what they're made. They might be made out of fishing line. You circumflex. I circumflex. Noise maker. What is the noise maker? The pitch fork. You circumflex. I circumflex. You circumflex. You circumflex. The finest spider silk. That's probably what it is. Thank you, Vermin, for the hundred bits as well. And anonymous gifts up to circumflex. I circumflex. You circumflex. Chat is insane. I circumflex. You circumflex. They're really new in. I circumflex. You circumflex. You circumflex. Really? It said rubber band. Circumflex. You circumflex. Oh yeah, that's weird. I circumflex. You circumflex. You circumflex. All right, what do I have now? The woodcut. Oh, maybe I give her the woodcut. Cooks. Bangs. Cooks. Mac, Mac, Mac. Thank you. Cooks. Bangs. Oh, Brian Pollyans. Cooks. Bangs. Give? Cooks. Bangs. Cooks. Woodcut to Lily. Bangs. Cooks. Bangs. Different task. Cooks. Bangs. Cooks. Bangs. What way? Cooks. Bangs. Cooks. Bangs. A crude cut. Ah. Cooks. Bangs. Cooks. Bangs. Cat gloves. Lamps. Bangs. Cooks. Look at Bangs. lamps. Cooks. Bangs. Yes, so far. You know, this game did have a, a, a whole Zork reference. What's a woodcut? It's um, it's like the game's example of a drawing. Think of it like like a, a cheap ass drawing. <laughs> Thanks for the gift sub, guys. Thanks very much, everybody. Thank you for the support. Thanks for keeping this channel going. I appreciate that big time. We well, gotta figure out the rest of this stuff. Medieval pornography. There you go. You can look at it like that. All right. So these are the futuristic technology. Oh, what life on tours would be like in the not too distant future? The Raven. What is she talking about? Find a use for the rubber band, I guess. Okay, let's go eat. Let's get out of here. Let's go south. I don't know what the next section is like, but I hope it's less confusing. Okay, what did I get? I lost the reed. I was really hoping the reed was the thing I needed. The woodcut. Nothing else new. I can give, um... Give the Herald some stuff. Give Woodcut to 
Harold. The Harold ignores you. Talk to Harold. No. What if that guy has a purpose? I don't know if he has a purpose or not. We can talk to the dragon again. Hello, fair dragon. He wants nothing to do with me. He spews fire at you. Okay. I don't know what this guy's purpose is. He's useless. In. Fairground. Okay. That's all that is. Um, it's not east. Look. Oh, I bet I can give this to the weirdo. Hey, what's up? The Ratman forgives has just donated one dollar. The Ratman. Thank you, Ratman, for the one dollar. Whoa! Would you get a load of them games? The Barker grabs the woodcuts out of your hands and begins an intense study of them, losing all interest in you. Wow, that, that, that's a good face right there. That's a good face. Get crossbow. You already have the crossbow. Shoot target. Alright. The Barker pays you no attention as you leave. Crossbow got! That's a good face. Yeah. Whoops. What happened? Okay. Oh, maybe I can climb the tree. Hi, Trooster. Hang on. Whoops. I'll try again. Welcome to Eric the Unready. I was not ready for this game. Climb tree. Look at tree. It's an ordinary tree. Search. What do you want? Search tree. Examine. Tree. It said Lily. Oh, inconsistency! Wow, shame. I thought this was an up and up game. Huh. Maybe I can shoot the dragon with the crossbow. Literally unplayable. I'll turn it off right now. Don't worry. Shoot. Tree. You've missed your targets. Okay. Are there more games? Four o'clock. You got the You're stock gate to the east. Oh, hi, W. w. Thank you for the one dollar. good friend, W. 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 Unfortunately, due to Lily's speech impediment, we cannot spam W's, so it has to be ours. Sorry, Rigara. R R R R R R Why do you guys insist on the R? R R R R R R He's like ten times louder. I would. I get nightmares about the R R R. I'll, I'll, I'll well, thank you. Thank you for the one dollar. You paid good money for that. There you go. Shoot pig. Shoot chef. You got one, Sam Hain? Oh, sick. Shoot pig. cleaner. My name is Hans. Lazy Should I shoot life. the dragon then? I am 31 years old. Oh my god. What's going on? Carter Tier, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to Retro Island Gaming. I am fumbling and Eric the Unready. How are you doing? How are you guys doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey cat. No! Cat in the box game. raid! Oh. How was your stream today? How'd it go? Final Fantasy 14. Thank you, Steetech. 
Shoot Harold. No. What's in what's in this point? That's my inventory. Tie cord to cross. I'm bold as fuck. Tie band to cross. I don't know what that does. You can't do that. You like that one, Vay Victus? I've I've never I've not played that many MMOs. I'm bold as fuck. Shoot. Shoot. Alright. You used to play that hardcore thing, so no, save yourself. The problems? I gotta get the steak from the dragon. Oh, I didn't press the button. Oh, fuck. Alright, so this dragon is blocking the steak of eternity. And he makes big flames, and I run away. So I gotta somehow protect myself from the flames. Uh, I need something to protect my rear. Thank you, PS1 addict. Thank you. See ya! Tickle the dragon. I can't do anything in there. Yeah. I, I had to stay away from MMOs. I played enough MUDs in my life. There's a road, scroll, scroll, get the scroll. You can't take the scroll. I don't know, Pew Pew Pal. Mount chicken. Hardly, no, because I'm holding on to it. Whatever that means. Uh, the fool's cap. Forgot that there's a map too. Picture. Whatever you do, do not type text. It screws everything up. Can I talk to the Bowies? Hey, Brigham. Talk to you. You could. I mean, if you want. Is today the day? Okay. Hold on. We got a divination. Okay, perfect. Take a quick break. This area's got me stumped. I don't know what I'm doing here. We just got a crossbow. Now we gotta think, what can we shoot? I can try to shoot, uh... Let's go to the place of tomorrow. And let's shoot everything in there. There's a million... I can shoot the aardvark. Why not? We'll do that. Kill Jester. But Jingle's our friend! Alright, so far is dying to know. Is today the day that Zofar hears from Twitch regarding an application? Oh. So far, this is for you. I would not come on it. Oh! Shit! Oh no! Sorry, so far. Uh, that means that means not today. That means not today. That's you know what? That's the second time that's been asked, and that was the same response. That was actually the same response it gave. So uh, yeah, you know what though? Waiting is a good sign. Waiting is good sign. Oh my god. I'm bald as fuck. Hans is in front. Imagine Hans getting it before you. Oh, brutal. <laughs> brutal. Stop. Volume up. All right. Leave me alone, Harold. Dead is staying on. Oh. We got to think of something we can shoot. Does somebody have an apple in here? Or some herbs? There's a marble. All right, shoot Viper. Shoot Ard Var. Shoot Marble. Shoot Troll. 
No? Oh, there was a kid with an apple. You're right, we did see an apple. How am I gonna get... Oh, maybe we gotta convince him to get those the apple. Maybe I... What's the crossbow for? Alright, let's get arrested. Alright. In the pile of my shit. What do I have? I got the fool's cap, the boa, glasses, and gloves. Yeah, the kid did have one. Wait. 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 All right, an angelic looking young boy toddles along next to his father. The father says to him, you've been such a good boy, Clarence. Here's a nice shiny apple. All right. We gotta piss him off. Insult boy. The boy throws the, the, ap the apple at you, striking you in the nose. The apple rolls into your pile of possessions. Oh, talk to boy. Got it. That was that easy. All right. Look behind you, isn't that Elvis? Ah, uh, yeah, you can't fool me. Elvis is running a convenience store in the Rim Mountains. Everyone knows that. You should be in school right now. Well, you should be in a lunatic asylum so we can each count our blessings. I'll bet my dad can beat up your dad. Maybe he could, if your mother ever figured out who he was. Hail to the king, baby. It's so bad. What a, it's such a roast. That's like the biggest roast in the whole game. It's so brutal. So brutal. So drugs. Hi, Pistol. Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't know what this game takes place in. Hi. <laughs> right. Come along now. It's time to leave. Wait. Wait. Wait it out. Get me out of here. The nymph returns. She opens the stocks. She restores all your possessions and disappears. Now I have apple. <sighs> All right. The cook slaps himself on the forehead and says, That's what I've been missing. He puts out the fire and says, Thank you. Now I can deliver this pig. He removes his apron and rolls up his sleeves and he calls his assistant. And the two of them hoist the spit up into their shoulders. And carry away the boar. Your score has just gone up by five. Five, 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 five. Uh, I don't want score. I want things. The wagon is waving. How many points do you guys have? Is there an apron? Ah, uh, just what I was looking for. How many points you guys have? Five, 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 Mac, 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 thank you for the hundred bits. Oh, it's not as good if Joey doesn't do it. Five, 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 is this guy still going crazy over Lily? Five, 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 five. Oh, there you go, man. Five, five, five. You clip that? Five, five. It does have two L's. Five, 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 five. He doesn't even know us anymore. Five, five, five. Hey, me for eyes. Five, five. All right, all right. So, um, five, 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 I cord to apron. Five, 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 Too many items. Five, 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 five. How am I gonna stop the dragon? What else is there left to do? Five, 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 
five. I don't know. Five. 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 five okay. Five. 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 What is the hoop exactly? Five, Look five, at five, hoop. Five, 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 With a shade five, hanging five, from five, it. Get five, five, hoop. Five, five, the, the rest of these are all five, bolted to the ground. Five, Can I get the art five, part? Five, 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 He's too heavy. Five, oh. five, 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 hmm. five, five, five. Hi, sweetest five, pancake. Five, five, five. Five, 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 all right, let's think this through. Sure, there's a whole thing not to put your hand through, but why take a chance? Unless there's something specific that you want to accomplish. Of course, if there is something you want to do to the Viper, you could always just say what it is. Five, 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 Talk to Viper. You want to throw him in there? Pet it. Ahoy! Pet Aardvark. Why would you want to pet? I don't know. Push Aardvark ah. in cage. Oh, I can't grab. I gotta grab him first. Uh, what else do we have in this place? Cage cleaner! No, she wants us to do something with a, a raven. I think she means the dragon. Yeah, art frogs are cute. Crush O Matic. What do I have that I could crush with the Crush O Matic? I lost the apple. I lost huh? berries? The rotten berries? Look at berries. Put berries on device. Put berries under device. Do I have it? I don't I, I don't know. Look at device. It tells you about it. Ah. Tie cord to device. I don't know. No. I ban to device. No. Hydration? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Rob! Uh, this game is so weird. Remove apron. Put apron on cage. A psychological nymph appears and says, Please do not put anything on the viper's cage. It disrupts the snake's delicate biorhythms and may cause them to experience anxiety displacement, which, if untreated, could easily escalate to a traumatic catharsis of a disruptive and virulent nature. She disappears, but is quickly replaced by a psychobabble translation who says, she means you'll piss him off. Put apron on fire. Wear apron. I may not be able to beat this now. Play maker. Give maker to viper. What else is in this room? There's too many items. You got the kitchen device, the hoop. Pull shade. You lower the shade. Touch catapult. 
All right, the hair trigger on the catapult fires. The black marble arches through the air and hits the closed window shade. The marble drops down to the viper's cage, falling directly into the viper's open mouth. The snake closes its mouth and makes ready to swallow the marble. Seconds later, he realizes his mistake and spits the marble out at a high velocity. It strikes the gong with a resounding clang. A very large, very stupid troll lumbers into the room. Display, not torch, he recites mechanically. He finds the marble and reloads the catapult. Knuckles dragon against the floor. Ah! Hi, Chef Krondo. Who? Final Fan looks this is just like Final Fantasy Tactics. It's just look at the graphics. Uh, all the things you can do with it. More there. So what's the, is that a switch? Look at switch. Pull switch. You go and stand next to the crusher mannequin, get ready to flip the switch, but then you notice your foot is directly underneath the weight. Rather than finishing the adventure with feet that look like clown shoes, you decide not to pull the lever. Tie. Alright. Flame band at lever. Throw band at lever. Get band. Shoot lever. You miss your target. Shoot shade. Shoot gong. What is the point of that? What else do we have? You got a noisemaker, which doesn't do anything. A chicken. Put chicken on viper. You can't put a chicken on a viper. Put band on viper. Thinking very guilty thoughts, you put your hand inside the cage and sit the band at the viper's mouth. Oh, wow, you can shut it up? Alright. Yeah, Alex, exactly. Pro player? No, I'm not a pro player. The chamber pot. You want me to use the pot? Guilty thoughts. Alright, well... Touch... Catapult. Alright. What happened? Arches through the air, hits the shade, Hits the viper on the head, rolls out of the cage, the aardvark mistakes the marble for a large, particularly juicy black bug, and starts to give chase. He scurries across the table and crashes into the gong. No! The aardvark! Alright. <laughs> and we gotta stop the aardvark. Give chicken to aardvark. There you go. Not interested. Give berries to our bark. Oh no. Can I just give him the cap? Put cap on our bark. There isn't enough room to put the fool's cap on the art bark, huh? How big is this thing? Put apron on our bark. Look at our bark. The anteater is a trademark of its species, incredibly long snout and even longer tongue. Upon closer examination, you also notice that our bark is wearing a collar. Look at collar. A leash. Tie cord to collar. You hook one end of the bungee cord to the our bark's collar and the other end to the edge of the table. That'll time down. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's cute. All right. Touch catapult. This time... But the aardvark is pulled short by the bungee, not to be stopped. The aardvark unfurls his incredibly long tongue, which unfortunately gets tangled in the switch that activates the crush-o-matic. The huge weight falls to the floor and slams into a foreboard. 
which immediately pivots up and crashes into the gong. Inventory. Look at lever. We know there's a lever. Right? If I have everything. So what happened? He licked it. Touch cap. What was the uh, what was the actual issue here? Okay, it gets stuck on the switch. All right, look at switch. Same thing. Examine. Give me details here. Nothing. So look and it's the same shit. Yeah, it's like a Goldberg type thing. We gotta get there. Wait till the chamber pot part. Uh. Oh yeah, that's an inventory thing. Look at floorboards right there. The ghouls. I see some. Put chicken on floorboard, please. I want to see the chicken. You put the chicken on the floorboard. Uh, I don't think I did anything. Cage cleaner. No. It's 2,500 pounds. Get the chicken. Hi, Sam. How you doing, man? Look. Is he a bungee? Okay. All right, we got the hoop, the chamber pot, a gong. How can I fuck with the... Dang. Hold up. Has been jarred loose, you can't seem to pry it up the rest of the way. What do we have? A chicken, an apron, a fool's cap. A crossbow. Unscrew. Switch with wrench. Cannot be un. That thing does nothing. It does nothing. Tie cushion to switch. You cannot attach a whoopee cushion to the crusher switch. All right. Tie maker to switch. No, 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 no. Put sunglasses on Ardvark. Oh darn! How this puzzles is uh, this area is way harder than anything else we've done. Way harder. The other uh, the the past the past do. areas I just caught through. On Discord? Oh, okay, Valon. Thank you, Valon. Spending uh, good points there. Oh, no. Alright, so the problem is, there is a... This crazy-ass thing is falling down and crashing into the floorboard, which then bangs into the gong. And then the troll comes. And these are the items we have. The cushion. It doesn't show up. It makes me so nervous. Please work. The huge weight falls to the floor and slams to the floorboard, sending the whoopee cushion crashing into the gong. Ah. Put maker on floorboard. I don't know what that's even gonna do. Yep, get, okay, so it's the same thing, it just replaces the item. 
Oh, it's getting late. Uh-oh. Almost six o'clock. Wednesday. Can I stand on there? Well, we don't- we weigh less than 2,500 pounds. Stand on floorboard. You stand on the end of the board first away from the crusher. Then I can shoot catapult. No? Touch catapult. Sending you flying into the air. You do a double somersault in the air and land butt first into the chamber pot. You stagger to your feet and tug at the pot, but it is now firmly attached to your backside. The marble seems to have disappeared, and the only positive note is that your activity doesn't seem to have alerted the troll. Oh my god. Hey, Advaris, welcome in. I have a chamber pot. I'm wearing a chamber pot. Look at chamber pot. It's the chamber pot of tomorrow. There you go. Now, maybe that will keep the dragon's fire off. It's worth a try. There's the butthole. I don't know what other point it's gonna have. Save. Hot on but. Right? That's what he was. That's what the dragon was shooting at. All right. Hey, sofa. Welcome in. Let's see what happens here. All right. There's the dragon. The sofa. You flee to the safety of the flatlands. Oh man. Protect your eyes from those flames of his. Protect my eyes? Should I not wearing the sunglasses? What? What? No! All right, let's put everything on. Wear the cap. No, inventory! Oh, shit. Oh, we're running out of time. Six o'clock, the game ends. Oh, hat's back. Wow, Ice hats Wizards, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you. All right. I have three minutes until game over. Wear sunglasses. Wear apron. Wear cap. All right. Let's go visit the dragon again. This is gonna be very close. The dragon's lair is a huge dark cavern ruled by the very dragon. This is different who now looms before you. The monster seems invulnerable to attack, except, of course, for the vulnerable spot on his throat, revealed by your magic sunglasses. In the darkness of the cave, behind the dragon is a magic ring, the object of today's quest. The raw yes. stake oh of eternity it is also visible in the shadows. The only exit is to the east. Suddenly, the dragon's vulnerable spot shifts to his eyes. The dragon flames your rear end, but the chamber pot protects you from attacks. Drinking has ruined my on. life. I'm 31 years old. Oh no. Undo. My name oh, is there Miles. we go. Drinking has Shoot my life. Dragon. I'm 31 years old. I'm out of time. Oh my god. We are soft blocked. Alright.
Let's try a different save. Welcome to my manor. <laughs> What's my save game? That gives us more time. This might be okay. We're dealing with the, the Viper here. I think we got the stuff. Tony, thanks for giving a gift sub to Jummy Yummy. That's it. We're Enjoy your gift sub. Like the game. Thank you, Tony. Thanks for looking out. Hey, Edgar. Good to see you as well. How's it going? Ugh, I'm losing my mind. But it's going good, though. It's going good. Tie band to Viper. We're just we're running out of time. Other than that, it's all good. Tie core to our mark. That's it. We're soft locked. Quit the game. What else is there? Chicken? Berries? Book? Stand on floorboard? Oh, it didn't spawn yet. Touch? Catapult. Uh, no, this soft locks. I beg your pardon. Oh my god. What's what spawned the uh, thing last time? Look. A bungee cord. A viper. A rubber band. Oh, the shade. Okay. Touch. Catapult. Stand on floorboard. Alright. Touch. Catapult. Heat the prepared? Ah! Oh, I chose poorly, free needles. All right, chamber pot acquired. Wear apron. Wear sunglasses. Wear. What are we not wearing? Bump, 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 bump. Good. East. South. I still want to play that uh, Hoboken game that you played for needles. But I want to try an older Legend game first before I dive into those. Because I, I played Deathgate and I played Shinar. So I want to play an older one like this. Alright. Shoot. Ugh. The dr Okay, shoot Dargon. You squeeze off a shot at random. The quarrel bounces harmlessly off the dragon and he casually flames it to a cinder. Oh, I gotta... Oh, I have to pick Talon. Shoot Talons. The vulnerable spot moves. The quarrel bounces off the now in vulnerable spots and the dragon eats it. Suddenly, the vulnerable spot shifts to his throat. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird, Spimble Bear. What, uh, what was it called? Spell casting. I don't know if those are any good. Hold on, let me try to save. Try again. At six o'clock time in the game, we lose, so I just gotta watch it. Shoot throat. Come on, game. It moves. Shoot eye. Shoot eye. Okay, it's called the Superhero League of Hoboken. Got it. Shifts to his talents. Is this? Talk to you, dragon. The dragon ignores you. Shoot tail. Shoot throat. Shoot head. I feel like I'm getting screwed here. Hey, Penguin. What's up, Neil? I know, I can't even seduce it. Get steak. He tries to swipe at you. Okay. Oh, we gotta deal with the dragon? Is it shifting every time? So shoot, throat. Shoot, throat. 
shoot the throat. Aha! The dragon shrieks, and with a great hiss of escaping air, he suddenly deflates before your eyes. Moments later, he is seen scampering around the ground at your feet, about the size of a cigarette lighter. It's 20 points! Oh, he's so cute! Get steak. You snatch both the snake and the ring. Suddenly, a low rumbling in the cave begins to crumble around you. You run for your life, but just as you reach the mouth of the cave, a cataclysmic explosion shoots you up into the air like a human cannonball, scattering your possessions to the four winds. Oh, no. Yep. All right, where are we ending up? You travel for miles in a high trajectory, and when you finally plummet towards the ground, your fall is broken by the branches of a large yucca gum tree near the foot of the mountain of the gods. You tumble through the branches, fall to the ground, and are knocked unconscious. Uh oh, oh shit. Meanwhile, Mirror, mirror, bright and clean, will I soon be crowned the queen? Griselda the Fair, this I can say, your life will change come Saturday. I'm a pretty princess, Mirror, Thank mirror, you. back with lead, is Sir Eric not yet dead? Princess mine, I'll give the odds. He will this day be with the gods. Mirror, mirror, be a pal, am I rid of L'Oreal? Grizzly fair, I can aver that by next week, you'll know for sure. Mirror, mirror in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? Oh! Princess dear, you are quite fair, but with your smile, none can compare. Just got some dental work done. You are basking in the shade of a tall yucca gum tree, whose limbs are thick with juicy leaves. The tree is too big around to climb, but the lowest branch juts from the trunk, just over your head. Tantalizingly out of reach, nearby a lone unicorn grazes in the pasture. From time to time, he lifts his head and eyes you wearingly. To the west of the famed Temple of Virgins, that rests in the shadow of Mount Spa, the mountain of the god. You see a newspaper. All right. What about Lily? We'll find out in the newspaper. We got past it. Soft flock averted. Uh, the fucking unicorn. Now, when you see a unicorn, what do you do? You moon it? Moon? Unicorn. You turn around, bend over, and bear your rear end at the beast. He lowers his horn and charges at the inviting target. You straighten up and try to jump out of harm's way, but you trip over your own feet, turning your leap into a more of a feeble hop. The unicorn is quickly upon you. His horn passes through the gap between your legs, and he gives his mighty neck a heave. You sail through the air and land unharmed on the branch of the yucca gum tree. The force of your landing dislodges a dead leaf from somewhere overhead. It drifts slowly down through the air and lands on a branch. The force of your landing. Oh, I oh wait, she was what? Her finger in the horse's ass. It's actually a tail. We're supposed to do that. Get leaf. I was I thought that I thought, I was, I thought oh, that was going to be a cute death. Ass. A I thought that would be a cute death. That what I got to get the newspaper. All right. Whoops. <laughs> get newspaper. Down. <laughs> Play be like a damn fiddle. I think we have that. Okay, get newspaper. Read newspaper. Huh. Yeah, they mentioned it earlier in the game. I guess as a hint of what you could do, but... Alright. I think I lost my chamber pot, guys. 
Elvis returns from the dead as Big Game Hunter. Poke me with a fork, I think I'm done. <laughs> Famous minstrel seeks anonymity in unusual disguise. That's what we were wearing and carrying. It's got the full set and everything. All right, next. Giant demon bats exercise from dragon cliffs. A coven of demon bats was driven out of the dragon cliffs yesterday by a six-year-old child. She's got the power. Ain't no doubt about that, commented a glibbering old woman who acts as a frequent confidential source to the Inquirer. The girl is apparently unaware of her special power and believes she was making mud pies at the time of the exorcism occurred. Uh, okay. You did miss the woodcuts. You didn't miss anything. I don't know what that was about. Puppy killed in cart accident. A young puppy was killed yesterday when it was struck by a cart, driven by an unidentified two-headed oaf. The puppy was the St. Barchan's Day gift to a young boy, who is said to be heartbroken. According to well-placed sources, the accident occurred just after noon, when the puppy heard the cart coming down the road and rushed out to greet it. The cart struck the little dog and drove off without stopping. The puppy's owner, an orphan, rushed to its side and cradled the dog in his arms. The dog licked the boy's face once and then died. Holy crap. Next. Next. Personnel. To the mayor and the people of Hamlin Town, I've still got the kids. Perhaps we can make a deal. PP. Hmm. Anyone get that one? The mayor and people. Thank you for the PP. Proof. The Pied I Piper. Oh, you. look at you guys. Okay, you guys got it. I didn't get it. Help wanted! Docile but foul mouthed flower girl needed for linguistic experimentation. Contact H. Higgins. Docile but foul mouthed flower girl. Contact. Thank you, Rob. My fair lady? Okay, I don't know that one either. Small red cloak, some bloodstains. Contact the big black wolf. Oh, little red riding hood? Okay, so I guess these are all uh, Mother Goose rhymes. Did I say black? <laughs> the big Bad wolf. Hey, hang fire. What's up, slime? Next. Feeling meek, mouse like. Enroll in the Conan School of Assertiveness training. Sharpen your negotiation skills. Learn how to drive home your points and hammer your opponents into a submission. Conan? Oh, what is. Wait, is this it a barbarian? Okay. What is best in life? To sharpen my negotiation skills. <laughs> Wait, wh where does it start? Hey, it's a funny. Hey, goat. I guess. Dude. It's so stupid. Yeah, drive home your points and have your points as a mission. Alright, let's scale. That's goofy. Very silly, very silly. I got it. I'm losing my voice. I can't do Arnold. I've been it's been nine hours. Nine hours of this reading. I just can't read anymore. But that was good. That was good. Lost. One pair of slippers. Ruby colored. Valuable only to owner. If found, do not wear. Instead, place in a small basket on a yellow brick road. A friend. And that's it. There you go. That was issue 94. I like the newspaper. That's always fun to look through. Talk to Unicorn. Oh. Look. That was the first time we almost ran out of time. Now I'm... Well, as long as we get a base save, and we can do a second save, we'll be alright. Alright, leave. I 
can't read anymore. Yeah, after that, oh man. You would talk to the unicorn. Look at Dragon's the tail. Look, Andrew. dragon. Today we're gonna save scum. Look at dragon. Oh, I picked him up. Look at dragon's tail. Pull tail. Ah, oh, he's like a lighter. Okay, cool. Good morning, Neo Vega. How you doing? So we got a lighter. E. Look at leaves. The dragon's flame goes out? Okay. Look at leaf. Nice and juicy. Feed unicorn. Feed leaf to unicorn. Does not appear interested. Get leaf. You already have the leaf. Get leaves. Franzel, you got it. You can't reach him here. Look at ring. Is that the semi-precious? Wear ring? Half of your body disappears! Uh-oh. Just my bottom half is running around? Remove ring. Alright. To mix the leaf with? When did they mention that? Oh no. No, I can't remember anything. Let me go west. Portico? Semi precious. Right. But it is the same thing. It is a Lord of the Ring reference then. Alright. This well proportioned porch is a fitting entryway to the temple of virgins. A set of bells hangs under a sign and a white robe lies folded next to the door. A niche in the wall contains a small carved stone bowl, presumably for offerings from passing pilgrims. The pastor lies behind you to the east. Get the robe. You take the robe. Whoops, wear robe. You put on the robe. The thick folds should conceal your gender from casual eyes, and with luck, you won't run into anyone who wants to make a more thorough examination. Read sign. Welcome to our automated door answering system. If you have to come see the virgins bathing, please ring the bell first. Oh. Wait, which one do you guys want to do? Hey, Joe. <laughs> I got the hat. It's too hot for the robe. If you are a salesman, please save the game and ring the second bell. If you're a lawyer, please don't save the game and ring the third bell. If you are a virgin who wants to apply for admission to the temple, please put on the robe and ring the fourth bell. Oh, apparently I'm a virgin. I just put the robe on. I'm here to ring the fourth bell. To read the sign again, ring the fifth bell. To inspect architectural plans for hidden passageways, ring the sixth bell. To hear a nice mellow tone, ring the seventh true. bell. To rescue one of the virgins because she is your daughter and she has been kidnapped and brainwashed by a demented cult who intends to make herself flowers in transportation terminals and then sacrifice her in a horrible and gruesome ceremony, please ring the eighth bell. If you are a group of the Queen's henchmen chasing a suspect, please ring the ninth bell. God. Which one do we vote on? If you are a male who wishes to apply for the job of serving grapes to the virgins while they are bathing, please ring the tenth bell. Ring. Uh, just what I was looking for. My GF asked me if I saw the dock bowl. I said, I never knew he did. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear a noise. Ring sound bell. Aww. I tried. Asked if I saw the dog bowl. I said, I never knew he did. Thank you, things. 
How you doing things? Thank you. Thanks for the hundred bits. Are the sounds not working again? Are you a lawyer? No. Oh! E. Hmm. I guess both lawyers and non-lawyers would answer no to that question, so I can't be sure that... You're telling the truth! I'll let you save the game anyway, but if you really are a lawyer, I expect you to feel guilty for at least a few minutes. <laughs> Are they fucking with me? Legend? Welcome to Save Scum, and my name is Andrew. Today we're gonna save Scum. Yes. Okay. Welcome to Save Scum, and my name is Andrew. Did I use Today Legend? It's just type it. It's just Legend X Mouse. Is that right? You know what? What? You cheated. Um. Install. Good. Sound blaster, please. Sound blaster. Legend. X mouse. All right. What happened? Uh, we got to the next newspaper. We gotta guess some nursery rhymes. Let's see if it says 256 SVGA, whatever it was. Yeah, there it is! Okay. So we didn't have sounds this whole time. Oh man. I wonder if Lily said anything. I could load. I could load it. Yes, I want to restore. There we go. She probably doesn't. From the beginning? All right, here we go. <sighs> Ring seventh bell. Yes! Dong! All right, we've been missing all these sounds. That sucks. Hey two, hope you're doing well, hope you're doing well. Oh well, that sucks. Um, it's a little different too. Are the graphics different? Oh, we want to go look at Tech War again? Okay, let's go look at fucking Tech War! Hold on. Let me just load Lily for a second. We've been playing on worse graphics this whole time. Fine. She looks the same, I'm sure. Hey, Slash, hey, Sheesh. It's the same. Talk to Lily. It's the same. You're for science, yes. the game. This is my favorite I, game. I don't see it ever. Alright. Cage cleaner. Yeah. Hey Dark Azo, welcome back. Alright, now it's all good. We missed we probably missed a few noises from the uh, other thing. Fine, I'll load leaf. You saw one extra Cage pixel! Cleaner. Bacon, 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 bacon. All right. West. No, no, no. I did, I, I got a unicorn up my ass, but that was fine. It was the thing to do, apparently. No, those woodcuts are gonna look good. How are things going? Well, my voice is still around. But welcome back, Dark Azul and Tawijia. Yep. I had, a, I had to moon a unicorn, and it got really pissed, and it shoved me up the tree, and I got a leaf. Alright. So read the sign. If you have come to see the virgins bathing, let's just start from the one and go through everything. Ring first bell. 
A muffled voice on the other side of the door says, The virgins have all bathed today. Please return tomorrow morning for the next public viewing. <sighs> Get robe. Wear robe, sorry. Ring second bell. <laughs> An arrow flies out of the wall and pierces you through the heart. You have failed. Wait, what? What? No, I forgot what they all were. Read sign. What's the second one? If you are a salesman, save the game and ring the second bell. They tell you that they broke the fourth wall. That that's the that's not the first time they broke the fourth wall. They literally <laughs> broke the fourth wall of the castle. Uh, Fiddler, welcome in. And that's how you got in the castle. My <laughs> name is Hans. He just had to Taking go around it. All right. I am. It was under construction. Oh, okay. It's under construction. Hi, Chain. Welcome back. Thanks to the Hans 10. If you are a lawyer, please don't save the game and ring the third bell. All right. Ring third bell. A two-ton weight drops on the ceiling, missing you by inches. A barrage of poison spears flies past you, making a lawyer-shaped outline on the wall behind you. Vipers swarm around your feet but refuse to bite, presumably out of professional courtesy. A breathe in a sigh of relief, you... From all the near misses, you sit down on the porch. Just then, a merchant comes up and leaves some coins in the offering bowl, along with a note that says, I overcharge you for my last delivery. Here is a refund. Oh, he really you keel like over from a heart attack and die. What the fuck? Undo. Ring. Fourth. Bell. Are you feeling guilty yet? What you was the fourth lost. one? Are you ready? Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the hundred bits. Thank you. All right. The door opens and a comely young virgin takes you by the hand, leads you inside. Examination chamber. The room is done in muted earth and tones. Guilty. Probably in a futile effort to calm the nerves of the women who are to be examined here. It is sparsely furnished with a table and a small stool. Only The only exit leads by north Keras, to the interior of the temple and that is blocked by the virgin who has been set to guard you. Damn it. The girl says, Welcome to the temple of the virgins. Naturally, we cannot admit you to our sisterhood without confirming that you are indeed a virgin. But do not worry. The test is quick and painless. It will begin in 15 minutes. The girl settles in to wait. Uh-oh. How do we pass the, the test on this? Hanky. Look at... Is that a virgin? She's a pretty 15-year-old girl dressed all in white. Okay. Look at Hanky. Just an ordinary looking white handkerchief. Get Hanky. You take the Hanky from the pocket. Look at pocket. The pocket is empty. Is that from my robe? Look at 15 minutes? Can I run away? I'm sorry, but you must remain here until the examination has been... Oh, fuck! Ah. We all know all about you now, Steve. Hey, Crago. Hey, Orgrior. Welcome in, welcome in. Alright, this is gonna be bad. A leaf! Where the leaf can't wear the leaf. Remove. No, she thinks I'm a girl with the robe on. Sit. Table. Just lie on shadow. table. Oh, there's no need for that. You'll what see is soon that enough. Table four? Mm. Time passes. <laughs> Through the doorway comes another woman with a beast. 
bucking and thrashing and trying to attack you with its hooves. Oh no! After a moment, the woman manages to bring it under control and hauls it from the room. Your escort says, I'm sorry, but you clearly failed the test. Uh, perhaps you should try the Temple of Brazen Hussies on the other side of the meadow. She escorts you back to the pasture, and then she retreats back to the temple. No! Shit. Ah, uh, the damn unicorn! The fucking unicorn! Alright. What am I gonna do? Alright. Yes, bucking. Fucking unicorn! West. Oh no, oh no! What about the temple? Oh no! Alright, read. Oh, look at the bowl. Look at bowl. The bowl is empty. Cheeseburgers, man. Get bowl. Only the most callous and heartless of creatures would have removed such an offering bowl from its place of honor. Oh. Put leaf in bowl. Oh, no, it doesn't do anything. Enter temple. That is the temple? Oh, it's the same thing. Welcome in, Lifer, Bolt, and Megagak. Ring fifth bell. Oh, to read the sign again, ring the fifth bell. To inspect. Alright, ring sixth bell. <laughs> Give me this one. A complicated blueprint unfurls from above. A quick examination reveals dozens of trap doors, fake walls, and hidden staircases. Just as it snaps back up, however, you notice the lower right corner, residence of His Majesty Lord British. Oh my. They got, they got a Richard Garriott reference. Brutish. That's good. Hey, Marvel. That is good. I wonder if he knew about that. Do you think? Do you think Richard knew? Cage cleaner. Cage cleaner. I'll have to ask. Uh, I'll have to ask Cran. She she knows everything. Ultima. Alright, well good, we got an ultimate reference. Neo Vega, thanks for the hearst. What what bell are we up to now? The seventh bell? What does that do? It's Oh, that's for the thing. Okay. To rescue one of the virgins because she is your daughter, has been kidnapped, brainwashed by Domenico, do to make herself. Uh ring like the eighth the bell. Ones. Ring. Eighth bell. Shaylee Routine, thanks for the hearst. She does know everything. Oh, I think you've come to the wrong temple. Our ceremonies are horrible, but they're definitely not gruesome. Oh, that'd be the temple of the Impalers just down the road. All right. Okay, so if you are a group of the Queen's henchmen chasing a subject. Oh, that's who's that? That's that's the uh, that's the bad guys. Read ring ninth bell. You're too early, he's not in here yet. Pat. Ring 10th bell. Okay, we've added you to the waiting list. Your number is 698,493. Ah, uh, it's gonna take forever. 420? No. High spell 11th. Ring 11th. I thought maybe they would hide that. Ring all bells. Only one at a time, please. Alright, so it looks like we want to put on the robe. Ring, and then do the fourth bell to get in. Get taken to the examination chamber. 
All right. There's a table and a small stool. Right. Okay. Put leaf on stool. You put the leaf on the stool. I don't know if that does anything. Yeah. Yeah, what, 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 was, what was the leaf reference about? Was it a drug? What part of the game mentioned it? Something about the yucca gum, and I can't remember. The game hinted about some, something, something like the yucca gum leaf. Oh no. Oh, I got a steak? I read a newspaper that said the leaf of the tree was mixed with the tears of a virgin. Ah. Welcome to my manor. <laughs> Leaf to virgin. I'm not permitted to accept gifts. Okay. Elliptic kiss. Thank you for the two months. Thank you very much. Talk to virgin. All right. What's with that unicorn? Sometimes I dream about him at night. I wonder if that means anything. Tell me about the test. <laughs> it's dangerous if you are not a virgin. Uh, what does it do? What does a girl do around here for action? Well, on Wednesdays, we all take our clothes off and run around the temple. It's lots of fun. You'll see next week. How old are you? I'm only 15, but I hope to be sacrificed to Molokai the Terrible. What? Molokai the Terrible before I'm 16. It would be such a privilege to be the youngest virgin ever sacrificed. I'm sure I would treasure the honor for as long as I lived. Okay, good luck with that. Yeah, welcome in, Lipticus. What goes on DMC? here in the temple? Well, life is pretty quiet, except for when it's time for a sacrifice. Then the high priestess comes in and selects a girl. The chosen one goes into the sanctuary, and a little while later, she's gone. It's quite an honor. Okay. Slap virgin. Something about the way the girl holds herself reminds you of someone else. You think for a moment, oh yes, you're a martial arts instructor at night school. Punch virgin. Kick virgin. Oh my god. Dude, the unicorn's coming! I gotta hurry up. Hey, Grotto. Um, Fucking unicorn! Harry's book. Dragon's Tail. It's a good idea, things. Press 1 in chat if you like Pocket to degenerate. Newspaper. The ring. Put the ring on, right? Give ring to virgin. Wear ring. The girl's face freezes in a mask of horror. Sacrilege! She cries out. The door flies open and a dozen of women crowd to the room. They seize you by the legs, presumably the only part of you that they can see, and drag you out of the temple and dump you beneath the yucca gum tree. Ah. I need tears of a virgin! I need it now! <sighs> hanky. Ooh, a hanky! We could give her the hanky to cry on. How to make her cry. A sad story. Right, tell a joke. What was the Yoohoo? Only near water, Eric. Thank you, wizard. There's no water. Paper on the dip. That might work. That's not a bad idea. All right. Well, enter temple. Ring fourth bell. Damn kid, she must under breath. What? <gasps> All right. 
Let's go back here. Santa's not real. You guys are really mean. Oh, I didn't have the rope? All right, whatever. I thought I soft locked. Oops. Ring. Fourth That's bell. It. We're soft locked. Quit the game. All right. Examination chamber. Hi. Give newspaper to Virgin. <laughs> she reads the story about the dog. Oh no! All right. Give hanky to Virgin. It actually worked. Removing the handkerchief you give to the print. Uh, okay, good. She continues to cry for a few moments. Completely soaking the hanky. Then she gives it back to you and snuffles. Thank you. All right. What the hell is that? Did you hear that? Oh, uh, yeah. This game is way better with the sounds. Ew. Look at that thing. Way better. All right. Combine leaf with hanky. Oh, tears. You don't need to use word. Oh. Put tears on leaf. You can put the tears anywhere. I could use the bowl. Use tears with leaf. Alright. Examine tears. Good. That's good. I mean, we're making pro- examine Leaf? Drop tears? I don't know. It doesn't want you to use, uh, use. Use is not a verb they like, right? They want you to be creative, unfortunately. Um, I think the life is, the leaf is okay. Put leaf in tears. The dried leaf immediately disintegrates into crumbs, which then absorb all the moisture from the... Oh, you want me to... Alright, we got the gummy blob. Look at blob. It's a gray lump. Alright. Save it. We'll save... How many points did you guys have? 19 blob. It's pretty weird. How many tricks do you guys have? It's blob on virgin. No, I can't use the use verb! Cage cleaner. The unicorn chew is widely be fatal to humans. Yeah, I gotta feed it to the unicorn. Uh put blob on steak. Blob on stool. Cage cleaner. Wait. And I just dropped it. Oh, God. All right. Restore. Blob. There's a lot going on. I mean, if you know what to do, Hug Slot, you can breeze through this. Plus, I'm reading everything out loud. It's taking me longer. Let's just... I don't know. Give Blob to Virgin. Do you want it? I am not permitted to accept gifts. Put it in the offering ball. What was the rest of the thing? I got... What? Wait! No! Oh no! Edgar! Hi, David Alexander. Good morning. What was that? Ah! Oh. Fuck you, chat! Hats back. Bunch of assholes. Ooh, this is a tough game. Alright. Damn virgins, dude! Dragon's Tail. Chow. Look at. Chow. Is that the blob? 
<laughs> oh, space hopper thanks for the hearst. Dude, the, I'm glad I was reading the newspapers. That's my favorite part, though. The chow is that. Okay. I can try to feed the unicorn outside of it. Alright, what? Through the doorway comes another woman with a unicorn in tow. Oh! As soon as it sees you, the beast calmly walks up to you and starts to nuzzle your hand. The girl exclaims, You have passed the test. Congratulations and welcome to our sisterhood. You're really lucky. It's the feast of the god of the full moon, and we're sacrificing one virgin every hour on the hour. Maybe you'll get chosen. Although they usually don't take girls on their first day. You are Score! A daughter of Hawaii. We got it. Hey, Gary, welcome to the Eric the Unready game. Hey, Toasty. She leads you to the main part of the temple, kisses you on the cheek, and waves goodbye. Your score went up by 15! Oh! Gulp. This is a spacious apartment that is awash in femininity. Everywhere you look, there are stunningly beautiful young women all dressed in gossamer blue robes. They seem unworried by the horrible fate that awaits them. Although no one seems to linger near the open door that leads north into the sanctuary. Occasionally, an individual voice dad. rises above the general din and you catch an interesting snippet of conversation. What's up with the north? Okay. Couldn't keep a secret if you welded her mouth shut. Oh. Look. At. Virgins. Your eye travels from girl to girl, each one more beautiful than the last. A little too friendly, if you know what I mean. Look. At. Let's just rip the robe off right now. Can I talk to virgins? Talk to virgins. Ah! Hello! Is anyone here a farmer's daughter? <laughs> Come to think of it, no. Perhaps they're just not interested in religion. What would you do if a man came in here right now? Oh, God. Yeah, what would you do? That's a good question. It's a great question. Right? Munch wants to know. We would firmly, but politely, ask him to leave. Breasts, 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 breasts. I thought for sure. Breasts. I thought for sure, Mongo. I thought, thank you, Shy, for the hundred bits. Tonight, we played, listen, we played Tomb Raider 2. We played Shantae. I needed a break from tits. And I thought, perfect. Let's play a fantasy game. Nope, I was wrong. I was wrong. I'll, I'll keep digging, guys. I'm gonna find a, a game without breasts in it. We're gonna play it. Don't worry. Don't worry, chat. What are the sleeping arrangements here? Oh, well, we just lie down on the floor and cut up with whoever's nearest. You'll find out tonight. Why are your robes so much more revealing than mine? Well, you have to wear your novice. Novitiate? Robe for a week. Then you'll get one like ours. Cult you'll definitely be more comfortable. Not that robe. Pepperoni, I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. I, I hate to disappoint you guys with all these tits. How can I get selected for the sacrifice? It's nice of you to be so enthusiastic. But no girl has ever been selected on her first day. The best thing to do is just... Wait until the priestess picks you. I'd love to chat, but I have to go brush up on my rituals. Here we go. Hi, two kings. Welcome in. I don't know. Tech war? I don't know. No cucumbers in the temple garden. Oh, shucks. That's too bad. What am I doing in here? Bunch of gossiping virgins. Get me out. South. Oh, we're back in here. 
get stool. Leave it alone, Eric. You won't need it. Okay. North. Dyes her hair. Wow. Blah, 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 blah. Sanctuary. Whoa! The great and terrible visage of the god Molokai takes up the entire north wall of the sanctuary. The terrifying eyes seem to follow your every step. The lips are open in a horrible grimace, revealing sharp teeth that are clenched shut. Against one wall is a vat of sacrificial wine. The only exit is to the south. Oh, well, we got some wine. Thy lies shall have brought thee low. Brought thee low. Your parents' house. All right, Liper. See ya. Thanks for stopping by, Liper. You can't take the vat. Uh-oh. Talk to Molokai. Drink wine. You take a small, satisfying sip. Tyrannosis! Hey, what's up? what's up, guys? How are y'all doing? Welcome to Retro Gaming. My name is Andrew. You can call me Rick. We're playing Eric the Unready. I'm trying to navigate a temple of virgins right now. I don't know how else to put it. I, 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 I can't... I can't butter it up. I know, it's a lot of... It's a lot of Words, it's a lot of letters, it's a lot of white. Hey, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you. How's it going today? How's it going? How's it going? Oh, you got some free games. Oh, okay. just donated one dollar. Rakes, rubber dub dub. Thanks for the grub. No problem. Who is this? Randall? Thank you, Randall, for the one dollar. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, fried rice. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hope you've been well too. Good, good. No, I've been doing good too. Yep. All's good. Nothing new. Nothing new. Um, this is a uh, adventure game. You gotta type everything. And it, it all happens. Alright, what do we have here? Look, 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 look. Sharp teeth. What about the plants? Look at. Molokai is the god of impacted wisdom teeth. His look reflects this. Oh, look at eye. No eye here. No, the tropical storm was a joke. I guess it's on its way to Japan, but it's gonna be nothing by the time it gets there. Look at eyes? The eyes? Or Molokai? Eyes. Look at Molokai. I keep calling it that. I don't know why. His look reflects this. Back to the virgins. Gain some weight. Oh, dare they. Yeah. When I went to Japan, uh, a, what, a typhoon, whatever they called it, came by. Didn't do anything. Polyboot? Is there a cooldown on it? Let me check. Oh, I put an hour cooldown? Oh, nice, we can, nice, we can nice, change nice, that. Nice, 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 we can nice. change that. I think it was just getting spammed at, like a couple years ago if we put a cooldown on it. Um, what can we do with these girls? A fountain. Look at fountain. Alright. It's a small, pleasant fountain. Looser than a pair of false teeth. Wow. They're gossiping. This is bad. Rogue ring. I have a semi-precious ring. If I put it on, half of my body gets invisible. Why not play some Warwind? I could. I don't know when I'm going to play it. It's on the list. Whenever I load it up, Gregor, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have just no clue. Drink fountain. 
You take a small, satisfying sip. And then he said something about first base. Uh oh. You see? Uh, no booba. Well, there we go. That is true. That is true. I would expect that. I can't go. Are we stuck in here? Let's say out. Out takes you here. All right, let me hit the the end game map. Oh God! You made oh, we are stuck. Do has not just touch one anything. Oh. oh, I never even introduced myself, did I? Pleased to meet you, Rex. Hope you guessed my name. <laughs> Thank you, Randall Flog. Thank you for the one dollar. Thank you. Thank you. Flag? Thanks very much. Wait till we... Well, we could kill some time. We saved it, right? When did we save it? Uh... Okay. I didn't waste too much time. I'm bad at this game. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we're just having fun with it, though. 14 minutes. That's my mom! You want to continue waiting? No. What happened? Looser than a pair of false teeth. Gain some weight. Look at those upper arms. Back seat of a cart. First base. I like bananas too, but that doesn't mean choose her nails. Not as pretty as she used to be. Some are bigger than others. At least that way you can't fall off. What? Everything's been lifted. Okay. The High Priestess enters the room, flanked by two acolytes. The acolytes disappear into the sanctuary for a moment and then re-emerge. The priestesses... No, the priestess raises her arm, index finger, pointing dramatically at the ceiling. She slowly lowers it until her quivering figure points directly at one of the virgins. The acolytes seize the girl and drag her, kicking and screaming to the sanctuary door. They push her through and slam the door behind her. The priestess and her minions leave as suddenly as they came. The remaining virgins in the room stare, ashen-faced. She's gone at the door waiting for some sign of what is happening on the other side. Oh, shit. Oh, they look sad. Oh. De yeah, Deceptive Slice, it seems very much like a Star Trek thing. Maybe that's what the uh, rotten berries are for. Look at berries. The rotten berries are bright blue and about as bold as the tip of your finger. She's not happy. Yeah, she's not satisfied. Give berries to Virgin. I'm not satisfied. I want to be satisfied. Listen. The room has fallen deathly silent. Silent. <laughs> Listen to the door. Wait. Time passes. Uh-oh. Hi, Stingy. Uh, the silence is broken by a blood-curdling scream from the sanctuary. The door slowly opens, revealing that the holy room is empty. Save for a few uh, wisps of smoke. The ashen-faced virgins stare at each other for a few moments. Uh, and then slowly resume their conversations. Oh. What's up, Mel? Is that your mom? <laughs> Uh, Steven 80 is good to see you as well. Let's go north. Let's see what happened. I bet nothing's changed. Damn it. We can poison the water. Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome to the the saloon or the I don't know what that was. The Virgin Sanctuary. Hi, Fred. How are you doing? It was 10 minutes. 
the ghouls! Put berries in wine. If you put anything in there, you'll never find it again. Can I step in it? Stand in wine. You climb into the vat, the dark wine comes up around your waist. Oh. Wear ring. You put on the ring and the upper half of your body disappears. Given that the lower part of your body is obscured by the wine, you're now completely invisible. Oh. Hey, Terramir, welcome in. Are you ready? Let's wait it out. Time passes. We're waiting for the uh, the hour. Oh, you hear the priestess and the athletes enter the salon. All right. A young girl is flown to the sanctuary floor and the door slams shut behind her. Look at girl. She's trembling with fear. Talk to, she can't see me. Where the voice came from. Uh, could, I don't know what we could do, we could yell. You bellow out to your throat, get sore. That's me, oh God. Uh, what's up, Ustra? You wanna take it off? All right, she screamed because she saw me. And as far as they know, that's what's that's normal, normal stuff. Uh, talk to girl. Hi, come here often. <laughs> what's up, Zed area? No, I lived my entire life here in this temple, but I have rarely. Wait a minute, that was a joke, wasn't it? How did you get selected for this honor? Well, either it's because I'm exceptionally pure of heart or because I spilled hot coffee on the high priestess this morning. Tell me about Molokai. This fucking Molokai is the god of impacted wisdom teeth. When he opens his mouth, it is my duty to fling myself inside. The better to ease his pain and suffering. You don't actually believe in this sacrifice stuff, do you? Nah, but it's a living. Alright, how many virgins does it take to screw in a torch? None. Virgins don't screw anything. Ah! Oh, Thanks for chatting. Thanks, game. Oh uh, we got we gotta wait for the thing to open up. That was pretty bad. Open mouth. Oh, my God. oh, uh, step outside. Smoke starts to pour from the Molokai's nostrils. She's shaking uncontrollably. Smell. Fire pours out of Molokai's eyes. The girl gets a wild look in her eye. Um, what do I have? We should just wait and see what happens. Look at fire. The teeth slowly come apart. The low rumble comes from somewhere inside the mouth. The girl has worked herself out into a religious frenzy and suddenly slits out a blood curling yeah, scream and dives headlong into the gaping maw of the god. The instant she is inside, the mouth crashes shut. No sign. Uh oh. We lost another one. Hey, Rusty. Are we missing a virgin? How many virgins do we have? Alright. Now, nothing good there. Uh, who else joined us? Agiscale, Nepal Sensei, welcome I'm in. Not a Been a lot of reading today, I apologize. Hi, Ruin. 
Yeah, we messed something up. yoo -hoo. An arm thrust up from the fountain, it tosses you the banana, and then sinks out of sight again. Hey, I got my banana back! Look at banana. Ooh, banana. We, no, Lily, we missed out. My banana came out. Things to say things didn't work the way we planned. Give banana to virgins. Oh. What can I do with a banana? Eat banana. The magic fruit is not yours to eat, Eric. Leave it alone. Oh. I have a steak. I got a banana. I could give the banana to... Molokai? Banana! Monkey! We could make the virgin not a virgin anymore. And then that way she can't help the statue. And that would disrupt everything. I don't know how we would do that, though. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Who knows how that works? Examination chamber, there's still nothing in here, right? This room is empty. Go to horny jail. No, 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 what's that? I can't say that. That one's probably about 30 years old. 30, uh, 40 year old virgin, I have no idea. Chorizo. Drop the damn pants. Okay. Sit. Enter wine. Wear ring. Wait. I don't know. 60 minutes? That's way too much. 40 minutes. All right, bam, virgin, continue waiting. No, remove ring, stand, you get out of that. Give banana to virgin, she's too distracted. Shake virgin, she doesn't retaliate, slap, get, get out of there. You're already off the low end of the chivalry meter for making that other girl cry. Be a sport and take it easy on this one. <sighs> All right, we know that smoke comes out of the nostril. Can I clog the nostril? Put banana in nose. Put banana in nostril. You can't put the banana in Molokai. <sighs> Blind? Do I have a blind? Put robe on virgin. It's not her size. All right. High for the pole. That's what I was thinking, right? But I don't know how we would do that. It's getting bad. It's getting bad. Uh, put robe in nostril, sure. I don't know if that's even a thing. Uh-oh. Oh it's gotta be with the banana. Grab virgin? Is that a... Get virgin. Stay back. You can't take it. <sighs> gone. You see? You see? She's gone. This is so weird. We got about six hours left. Ugh. Molokai. Doors open. I got plenty of virgins in here. What? It's a man! Uh-oh. The girl's 
are on you in an instant, ripping off the remaining of your clothes and smothering you. Something happened. Where rogue? Okay. That's one way to get GG. Oh, well, I just rip off the robe here. Remove robe. Literally smothering you as it turns out. Oh, okay. Okay. That's all it is. That's all it is. Hey, Rolak. Okay. That's my Twitch chat. Bunch of virgins. Pockets. Ring. Okay, if they don't want the banana. I have no idea what he wants me to do. Can I put them to sleep with the book? No. Because it'll put me to sleep. And then we also have the, uh... The dragon. Look at dragon. It's a cigarette lighter. Okay, let's go back in here. There's the bat. Molokai. Door. And that's it. Dun 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 dun. Put ring on banana. I have no idea. Nope. Yeah, the books put the... Uh, know what to do with this thing. I don't know. I can't talk to it. Uh, open dragon. That would really hurt. Light dragon. Pull tail. Okay. A stream of fire comes out. Pull tail. The dragon's flame goes out. Okay. Put dragon on Molokai. No suitable place. <sighs> Dragon's tail. I got the hanky still. Look at hanky. Soak hanky in fat. No. Put hanky in fat. You'll never find it again. Oh, okay. So, well, I know we gotta stand in that, right? Stand in that. Wear the ring. This this gets us access to see this section. Yeah, I secluded myself, but then she does her own thing. Look. Let's open a horrible grass. Sacrificial wine. Wear, wait, undo, throw, talk, take, ring. Read, put, pull, open, moon, look, give, get, examine, enter, drop, burn. Inventory? I got a ring, a robe, and a backpack on. I got a book, a stake, and a wrench. In the I don't know if I'm allowed to use the stake, the wrench, and a pitchfork. Those are plot items that I need to save for the wizard, but... You are holding a dragon, a banana, some berries, some chow, a hanky, and a newspaper. That's so weird. Hey, curry butt. Well, we saved it. We're just... We, we can kill time. Uh, give banana to virgin. Is it a girl or virgin? It's a girl. She's too distracted. Oh, All right. Kill them. Pull Hi, tail. Everybody. Oh, my banana came out. Now I have fire. What do I do with the fire? 
could I light? Burn. This wine? How would you, why would you light? I don't know if that works. I hate these fucking puzzles. Burn wine. Burn, baby, burn. Uh-oh, a nymph from the tourist department of Pyromania shows up. That's it, I've had it. You're coming with me, Buster. She drags you off and forces you to attend a week-long remedial <laughs> class that features a large talking bear in a funny hat. What the fuck? By the end of the week, you have fallen in love with the bear's simple philosophy and gentle ways. And you go off to live in the forest, eating roots and berries, until one day, you choke on a pine cone and die. You have failed. <laughs> Burnt what? girl. It doesn't matter what you do. All right. What? Undone. Ugh. What are some verbs we have? Moon. Yeah, we tried shake girl before. Do we always have the robe on? So stand. Enter died. Remove ring. <laughs> All right, we'll get her attention with the robe off. Remove robe. Shake girl. Come on, this time with the robe off. She doesn't. Re she seems surprised, but doesn't retaliate. Kiss girl. Nope. The girl, already nervous, begins to shake. Oh, God. Shake her again. She's got a wild look in her eyes. Hey, Arnie. Helicopter? Ah, I'm running out of verbs. Um, pull. Girl. Damn it. Undo. Bring her back. Bring back the virgin. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Hold, girl. Stay with me. You can't take the... I mean you can't take it. There's another one. What are... I? Try, there are no eyes, right? It's not an item. Look at eyes. What do you mean? And I just screwed it up. Crap. Knock her out. Whoa. Alright. Awaken, attack, bite, bite. Call, catch, clean, climb, close, cover. Cross, cut, dance, descend, destroy. Dig, dismount. Oh, we could try to mount her. I know mount's a verb. Dress? Drop? Duck? Eat? Empty? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> no. A lot of options here. Yeah. Send her to school. Oh, we're running out of time. Once we find out what to do, we can uh, we can go back and wait an hour. Sure. You didn't say. I'm oh my! Oh, I did wait one away. hour. Don't give me that. All right. Oh. Oh, my robe is off. Wear a rope. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need the rope. I don't need the rope. Hi, Michi. Welcome in. Oh, hat staying on. Uh-oh. All right. You take off the rope. Uh, wear ring. Wow. Wait one hour. 
My name is Hans. I don't know. Has ruined my life. Mount I'm girl. Years old. She is not interested in the hanky panky right now. Feed wine to girl. I tried talking to her. Talk to Virgin. She was just like, whatever. Oh, I had the ring on? Remove ring. Stand. Behold! My full form. Talk to girl. E. I come here often. Alright. Yeah, we already did all this stuff. How did you get selected? I don't think there's any slide puzzles in this. Spilled hot coffee, talking about Molokai. Impacted wisdom teeth. I hate these fucking puzzles! It's a living. Welcome to my manor. Big D <laughs> that virgin one's good though. Behold my 30 months. Big D with the big three. Oh! Hi, Big D. What's up, man? Cheers. Cheers, Big D. Welcome in, welcome in. We're I am playing uh, Eric the Unready. It's getting a little ridiculous the further I get into the game. The difficulty has ramped up. I wish I could. Yeah, I wish I could. Break Molokai. And there's the smoke. Come on, get up, girl. Fire pours out of Molokai's eyes. How do I get her to, to stop it? Stop it. Enter Molokai. No, no exit there. No Siri. Didn't see anything. Looks like an exit. Doubt there ever will be one there. Yup, I'm sure of it. Gone. I didn't try biting her. Alright, so you can't go in there. Fight, girl. Sorry, old chap. No vampires on Taurus, you know. Alright. Undo. Have you played this one, Big D? You see a virgin. Alright. Moon, virgin. The girl screams. That's not surprising, however. If I were suddenly confronted with your backside, I'd probably scream too. Unfazed. That still doesn't make it. Mm, yes, yeah, for all my. It played control. you. I'm getting played as well. Where's my mouse? All right. Yell. Yes. Water. Walk. Wait. Wake. Verbose. Untie. God, if I could tie her down. Touch, turn. Ah, uh, just you what I was looking for. You have taken Need advantage of my Run. kind and generous nature. Need a hint? And that is you think a we need a hint? Error on your part. What do you guys think? What do you guys think, chat? PS1 addict, thanks for the 100 bits. Raise, read, remove, replace, Range restart. Clear. Push, push off, push? Want to push the virgin? Mount? We tried to mount. Melt? We did try reading. I can try it again. Read book. No, I want to open it. I go to do something at work and get back. And the virgin is still not sacrificed. <sighs> what kind of game is this? Because I suck. I suck at this. Things of your mind, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you. Push girl. Just listen. No. Just listen. I just don't give you enough just time, listen. huh? I 
don't know how to... I'm not sure. Oh, thanks for the hydration. Andrew is a dildo. What? Ah. Uh. Yep, I can't deal with these damn virgins. All right, what do you, all right, what do you guys think? It, it, is it involved the book? I can't undo twice. Can I? Ultima six, Ultima six. Can I undo, six, undo? Ultima six, Ultima six, Ultima six, Ultima six, Ultima six, Ultima six. You can't undo after that. Just want to stop my between meetings. There is no mouth. Put wine in Molokai. They make a pill for that. I have to take the bat first. Yenzer, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the hundred bits. Thank you. Thank you. And good morning to Duke Donuts. All right, you want you want another virgin? We'll wait in one hour. Wait. Where are we? Stand that. Enter that. Toss the book at her. It looks okay. Like little Wait dildos. one hour. Take it. What can you wait now? You can't take that. Of course not. Read book. Snow. It's, it's not letting me do it. Yeah, it doesn't work. Hit girl. You need to get out of the vat. All right, do I want to? Do I want to leave the vat then? So stand. Kick girl. How does she dodge that? Punch girl. No. Throw book at girl. Why not? No. Run of ideas. Kiss the vat. Kiss vat. No. And she's hopping in. You feeling hype? Kick the vat. Guess not. Oh. Did the molars show up in the end? No, I don't see it. Alright, that's another virgin down. What's that? My book? Wait, why is my book in there? <laughs> yeah, the book's on there. Drop banana. Get banana. Alright, fine. That was enjoying the girl screams. I missed her head when I threw it, though. Ah. How can you not deal with a virgin? How many fucking spells? Drop four and thank you for the 300 bits. There's a lot of options we can How go many with. Virgins do you guys have? I know that's the question. There's a whole bunch. Oh, at six o'clock we lose, I believe. Things to remind. Thank you for the hundred bits. You guys can. I'm, I'm taking suggestions. Do you guys have? If you have, if you have an idea, I will try it. Uh, so the book is on the ground. Drop Chow. Drop Dragon. You drop the dragon. Drop berries. Drop hanky. Drop yeah, never newspaper. Tell her just the tip. You are holding up I can't drop the banana? Drop her up. There you go. Literally, the only thing that's on there is the is the book. You take the book. Wait one hour. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, wear a ring. Draft foreign, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you, Draft foreign. And, oh, are we still scam train? That's okay. Third scam train tonight. It's hard, it's hard to do a hype train when you're playing these games. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, we got 900 bits in a sub. Not bad. Do we get to just listen? Fuck it, why not? 
Let's see. I can just load. We already made so many mistakes. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Banana peel slip can. That would be good. All right. Go north. Just listen. All right. We're gonna. I can drop the book. Just listen. And there it is. We can stand that. Enter that. I don't have. Maybe I gotta get, eat the banana. Cleaner. I have no banana. I gotta yell you who. The robe is on. Got it. Banana gun. Yes, we have no bananas. Eat banana. Leave it alone, Eric. Drop banana. You drop the banana. All right. Stand in the vat. Enter vat. Wear ring. Just listen. Okay. You are now completely invisible. Great. Uh, wait one. It doesn't matter. All right. There we go. High train is done. Thanks for trying, guys. Thanks for trying. Thank you all very much. You want to continue waiting? No. Love shack, baby. Uh. Give banana to girl. You don't have to. Get banana? Get out. Get banana. Give banana to girl. Put trolling back. Throw banana at girl. The banana sails, sails past the sacrificial virgin and then comes to a rest nearby. Things. Thanks for the 100 bits things. Uh, this is very difficult now. Trolls win! Trolls win! God, good grief. Trolls win! Trolls win! Eat ba I don't know how to get a banana peel! Ah! See my map! At Molokai. She's not reading the book. Sacrifices herself. Maybe I gotta throw it at her multiple times. All right. Enter that. Wear a ring. Get book. Oh my god. Get Enter that. Wait one hour. Next sacrifice! Wait. One hour. I know, it's gotta be something. Hey, Ramakram, good morning! Oh, look, another virgin! Throw book at girl. Stand. Get book. Give book to girl. Oh, here we go. At first, she is too hysterical at the sight of you to even notice that she is holding anything. Then slowly, the book's tedium seems to reach out and start to calm her down. She glances at the cover and takes in the complete lack of anything interesting therein. She listlessly opens to the table of contents and sits down on the floor. She turns the page and gazes at the preface for several moments, her eyelids drooping. By the time the girl gets to chapter one, she's lying on the floor. You can see her lips form the words, In the great days of Balder. You got Balder. And the you got book Balder. falls from her hand. Balder. And she's out like a light. 
That's why the book is on the ground. You got you That's got why. You got hey, simple. Grab her. Look at girl. You okay? Oh, he's bald. He's playing. Bald She's laid on the floor like a sack of potatoes. Oh, Can you get her? Get girl. You cannot take the sacrificial version. Get book. That's my book. Kick Molokai, you bastard. That's my <sighs> Enter Molokai. Okay, now what's going to happen? Now the mouth is... E okay, enter Molokai. Summoning all of your courage, you dive into the blackness, expecting to die at any second. In space where it seems like forever, you land with a thud. Which knocks you out for a second. When your head clears, you are aware of a sense of gradual upward motion. Cautiously, you open your eyes. Escalator! You are slowly rising through the hallowed out core of Mount Spa, the famed mountain of the gods. A warm, steady breeze blows up from the below, and it almost feels as if it, instead of the escalator, is carrying you higher. A sign, read sign. Escalator. Please keep both hands inside the escalator. The gods will not be responsible for any personal injury. Okay. Uh, Mount Spa? Look at Spa. The mountain is a huge inverted cone whose walls come to a point somewhere far above your head. A man! Uh-oh. Dense clouds swirl around you as you survey oh, this rocky out outcropping. Through the mist, you see a lone figure with a shovel in his hands. Bent over a hole in the ground, a narrow path leads off around the mountain to the southwest. The figure straightens and says, Hello. Welcome to the Mountain of the Gods. My name is Joe. I see you've got one of those magic rings. Can't have that up here, you know. My name takes the ring away from you and then suddenly notices the shovel in his hand and seems surprised to find it there. After a moment he shrugs and fills in the hole he was just digging. Alright, well, ring is gone. Talk to Joe. You got back, yeah. Tell me a little about yourself, Joe. I'm the god of short term. Short Short term something, but I, I can't seem to remember what. <laughs> Can I borrow your shovel, Joe? I'm the gardener. What shovel? Can you recite the Epic of Balder from memory? Sure. A long time ago, end of the Epic of Balder. Pretty good, huh? What's in the hall? By the way, I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. If there's anything you want to know about, just ask me about it. Thanks for the memories! He has no idea what's going on. Hey, my name is Chuck. Surprised to have the... Okay. Well then. That's good. Good for you, man. Uh, look at hole. Hello, my name is Bill. Bill! Get... Oh, the, the, sh the hole is gone. Get shovel. Hey, that's my shovel. I, I think it is, or did I borrow it? I don't remember. The god looks up and says, Hello, welcome to the Mountain of the Gods. My name is Tom. Tom! Bye, Tom. Alright, we're gonna go down this way. Uh, the mist began to dissipate. After a while, the mist... Uh, sorry, they brought into a track. A sunny open area near some classical buildings. I can read. Warm sunshine, Agora. The Tom. In a golden glow, there is a grove of trees growing to the west, and to the south lies the fabled Palace of the Gods. It's a phantasmagorical building that is steeped in the mysterious aura of legend. The road on which you first arrived disappears northeast into the mists. Glancing upward, you see that you are nearly at the top of Mount Spa. 
from the very peak comes the glint of sunshine, reflecting off something metal. Alright. Where are the new area? Look at glint. Uh, hey, Ageless. Oh, he keeps changing his name. Doo Doo Flats your lotto. What's up? You're probably right. You can't tell much from a glint. It's usually a game writer's way of telling you that there's something up there that you want without telling you what it is. Alright. Fair. Look at me! Look at mist! Leads to the northeast. Look at road! Alright, south it is. You may not enter the palace. West. The glade? Whoa! Oh shit! Welcome in, where? You're watching. You watch a lot? Right on. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Man's imagination holds no lovelier sight than the goddess of you beauty. See a lovely naked woman. Bathed in a woodland pool. It's. You see a lovely naked woman. Hi, Paru. Yeah, I can't I'm defend naked. that. I'm not gonna bother defending that. It is what it is. And here she is, her flawless body immersed in sparkling water. Don't get up. Stay right where you're at. Her auburn hair floating around her like a halo. Warm sunlight filters down through the trees, striking a golden key hanging from a tree. Oh, you guys talk about the key. Oh, you meant the key. I'm sorry. I get it now. I, I see it now. That's a pretty good key. Not a single breeze disturbs the tranquility of the scene. As the goddess bathes, her languid movements and gentle ripples lapping against the shores of the pond. The quiet sound magnified in the still air of the glade. In the few moments you can tear your gaze from her, you notice that exits lead east and north into the woods. Go to horny jail. Look at, look at that key. Wow. Get key. Mill key. Damn. How are we gonna get over there? There's the, there's a girl in the way. Hi, orbs. Talk to. Goddess. Mm. I see that fireball. Oh, Avil. Swing. Do you always drool like that? <laughs> yes. You guys watch Would you like porn? to go out with me next month? Sorry, I'm washing my hair again next month. Damn. Hey, nice weather we're having. Oh, it's usually nice up here. The breezes are always warm and gentle. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me about the key. I don't know anything about it, except it's been there for ages. How come it's so warm? Even though we're fairly high up a mountain? Yeah, what's up with that? That's my mom! Perhaps you've mistaken me for the goddess of brains. Uh, she's bathing in the next pool over. All right, we gotta go there. Look behind you, a giant snake! Silly no mortal. There are no snakes on this mountain. Oh. Uh, where's the other hand? Your other hand. None of your business! Now put your tongue back in your mouth and be on your way. This has been a titillating conversation, I'm but I'm afraid I must go. Okay. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Say east? No. Need a little more cycles. Let's go back west. You can't WW. Ah. Is my banana gone? Wait, where's my banana? There's my banana. Hey, she likes my trick. Give banana to Goddess. No, not interested. 
The merest hint of disapproval from the gods is enough to stop you in tracks. Be not so bold, mortal. Lest your impetuosity lead you to grief. Uh... That's a huge bitch! Passing through the band of trees in the north, the weather quickly oh, changes. My banana came ah! Out. Growing colder with every step, you climb up the mountainside and come to a cave. This is the home of the god of the north wind. Icicles hang from the ceiling, and snow lays scattered on the ground. The god himself is pacing back and forth, swinging his arms, stamping his feet, and mumbling to himself. Talk to God. He's too preoccupied. My Look name is at Hans. North Wind. Drinking has ruined my life. I'm 31 years old. That's the god? The god is the North Wind. Uh, look at icicles swinging. It's cold, very cold, extremely cold, as cold as a walk-in freezer, as cold as an ice cube dropped down your back. Oh, as cold as a lawyer's heart. You see? You get you it. See? Wow, they really hate lawyers That's in this my game. Dad. Constantly bashing on lawyers. Something uh. There must have been some issue. Alright. Yeah. I, I wonder if there's a story behind it. I know it's the 90s, but they've, they've referenced it numerous times. Like, more than anything else. Like, it's, it's one thing to mention it once in a passing joke, but I don't know how many times we've seen this. At least four times. And 80s. And 70s. I've dealt with lawyers too. Lawlers? Where are we going? Down! Hey, mortal. Do me a favor and take this note to the palace of the gods and give it to Morty. Morty? He scrawls out a note and folds it in half, passing his fingers along the edge to seal it shut. He then stuffs it in your hand. He turns away, but then looks back and says, Oh, I almost forgot. There. You'll be able to get into the palace now. We don't like people to just wander in. Once you've been inside, you'll understand why. It's an image thing. Anyway, thanks a million. Oh. Ah, jeez, Rig. Whoa. Okay, we can enter the palace now. You may enter the palace. Bye. It's south? What? Lobby! This is a sterile, fluorescent lit office dominated by a very functional reception desk, behind which sits Cleo, the receptionist of the gods. In the background, you hear the suppressed hum of activity. Exits lead west, east, north. Against one wall sits a large trophy case. As you cross the threshold into the palace, the seal on the note magically dissolves and the note falls open. Cleo. Look at Cleo. She's a lively goddess who waves her hand in a lot. Waves her hands a lot when she talks. She is fielding incoming calls with the casual efficiency of someone who has been doing it for a very long time. Wanna call Cleo? There was. I think that was later on, Paru. But I don't know. Hi, I I'm Eric the Unready, Mighty Hero. Well, you're half right. I'd like to see Morty, please. He's a busy god. He only sees people on business. Tell me about the Valhalla Industries. Well, it's Morty's brainchild, really. He was the first to realize how much money there could be in the gods' business. So he sold franchises, established new deity positions, and set up a merchandising department. All for a percentage, of course. He plowed some of the profits back into R&D. And a couple millennia later, voila, here we are. 
Uh, why are the gods like bowling so much? Bowling? Oh, it's just a fad. Give them a few more thousand years, and they'll move right on to something else. Would you like to go out with me next month? No! What? What? Down! Down! Shit! Uh Cleo was 2001. All right. It's just a coincidence. Wow, Ice Wizards. Thank you, Ice Wizards. Thank you, guys. Man. My voice is starting to go, guys. My voice is starting to go. I'm trying to hang on. Thank you, Ice Wizards. You want to go out with me next month? Sorry. I don't go with mortals. Just when you're getting to know them, they croak get back to your calls now. Hi, Mendel. We have that Ice Age sound? What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! Look! Trophy case. Look at like case. A costume, a plaque, a painting, a small boat, a large bowling trophy. Uh, we'll oh, I went the in plaque. the wrong hole. All right. Golem? You mean stealthy golem? The top ten favorite pranks of the gods. Number ten! Closing all the discos in heaven so that angels have to dance on the heads of pins. Number nine. Telling man he was to be the ruler of the earth and then creating woman. Oh dear. These are the top 10 pranks of the gods. Top 10 favorite pranks of the gods. Number eight, letting the air out of the atheist's tires. Number seven, blindfolding a guy, hiding him for three days in a tuna packing plant, and then telling him he'd been swallowed by a whale. Number six, imprisoning a people in the desert and then pelting them on the head every day with stale bread. Number five, Dan Quayle. Oh my god. All right, they get worse as we go, guys. They get worse. Hi, T-Force. How you doing? So far, are, are these... I, I'm not getting these. I get the Dan Quayle, but that's it. All right, number four. Convincing monks that celibacy is a good idea. Okay. Number three. Is it a Jewish joke? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I went over my head. Creating a complete fossil record in a day so that pinhead fundamentalists would have something to be right about. Okay. Number two. Getting virgins pregnant without telling their husbands. And the all-time number one favorite prank of the gods, David Letterman's haircuts! It's, it's about on uh, par with those jokes. It felt like a Letterman. I thought it was a Letterman thing. We already met Ed McDwarf. Any, anyway, that was the look at look at the case. Look at case. Yeah, that's so it. <laughs> Get the costume. Hey, don't touch that stuff. Look at costume. It's a feathered serpent costume. Below it is a cord that a card that reads "Special Award for the Goofiest Costume." Foisted off on worshippers. Oh. Look. Wait, we got a painting. Look at painting. It's a watercolor of a dry path between two wells of water. The card below it reads, Best Special Effects. The Parting of the Inner Sea. So dumb, dude. It's Look at Case. Hey, Curly. And good morning. What's up? How are you doing today? Welcome back. The boat. 
look at both. I think it's Donkey Kong or something, I don't know. Who knows? It's a miniature replica of an art. Below it, the card reads, Lifetime Achievement Award for the most creative response to the world's overpopulation, the Great Flood. The Ark? The Holy Ark? Look at Trophy! It's a rotating trophy that was first given out thousands of years ago. Apparently the gods are really into bowling. And off it's shiny now. Yeah, that's the question. Hey Curly, good to see you buddy. Vrexia, good morning! Get... Trophy. No. Get costume. Fuck. Get arc. Fine, I'll go west. Ah, uh, you clear. can't go in there. Only people with business for Morty can go in there. North. Oh, is that backwards? Without a mouse? You have to engage mouse. I've, I've been mostly using keyboard. Cage cleaner. Cage cleaner. Get back to the lobby. Can I go east? Sorry, there's a new price list for direct divine intervention. You must not have received your copy yet. I'll send the pigeon out to you right away. Click. Alright, we're going to the lounge. Oh no, who's this guy? Nectar of the Gods. Oh gosh. Arch! What's up? The Lounge of the Gods is a worn out room that could use a good coat of paint. A broken nectar machine stands in the middle of the room. Behind it, a nectar machine repair god is sitting on a couch. The company bulletin board adorns the far wall. You can click on stuff in the pictures? I beg your pardon? Look at the repair guy, he looks bored. Yeah, I guess you could. Hey, J Tuesday, what's up, man? Welcome, man. Yeah, it's obviously a Pepsi reference. There's been, it's been, this whole game, I thought this game would be a serious game, guys. I, I, I thought it'd be a serious, well, maybe a little silly, but a cohesive game. It's not cohesive at all. Like I was saying, it's right below Eternam, and what the fuck am I playing? There's Eternam, Eric the Unready, Kyrandia 3. Music is good. The dejected air of a machine that is broken. Aww. I mean, it's it's funny, right? It's funny. I, I have no problem with it, but it's, I, I was expecting something different. I really was. The, the, I mean, it was great. The first few chapters were good, and it's just been getting weird. At this point, I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's look. Read board. Due to recent complaints, the automatic payroll deduction for life insurance has been discontinued. Talk to repairman. I don't want to play Kyrandia 3. I, we may have to someday. Uh, also, I, I, I thought for sure there'd be no tits in this game. I was wrong. I was completely wrong, and I apologize for that. When are you going to fix the nectar machine? Yeah, when I get around to it, chum. When I get around to it. The repair god. Alright, will the machine be hard to fix? Nah. It'll be a piece of cake. Once I get around to it, it'll only take a couple of minutes. Is Nectar really the choice of the new generation? Enter. I wouldn't know. I don't drink the stuff. I just fix the machines. I hope you guys are all old enough to get all these. Potassium, welcome in. Nectar, uh-huh. Gotta have it. Hey. Who was the advertising genius who thought that one up? Bye. Okay. You like some Pepsi? I was never into Pepsi, but it's fine. 
What's okay? Let's look at the map. I don't know where we are. We want to go north, east, or south. So, scriptorium. Flygon's gone too far. Who is this guy? All right. Uh, I haven't no. seen any actual. We saw hints of like nipple, but not actual. But there might be something. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this game goes a direction. Oh! I mean, we, we we were allowed to eat shit at the very beginning. This is a large room filled with robed figures bent over manuscripts that they are painstakingly copying. Okay. A thin young god greets you as, they, as you enter. There is a sign here. The god of duplication says, the Rickinator, coming to see the Richard. Oh. The Richard? <laughs> Read sign. Help me. <laughs> I mean, we are in the realm of the gods, so it's allowed to be weird. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. Eriko Rama doing his homework. Oh yeah. So he's Richard. Got it. Oh man, talk to Richard. What was that game that Rob Schneider is in? The FMV. I can't remember. Cheater Dan, welcome to the stream. I'd like to get something copied, please. The Ericulator not reading the signs. Bummer. What happens to the originals of the things that you copy? Ericatola asking the questions. Richard sounded stupid. The Eric man making fun of Richard. Gonna get himself killed if he's not careful. Can I just say one thing without you parroting it back to me? No. Fork in the tail? That's the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. No. Which is like, whatever. It's just a weird game, too. The other legend... How many comedy games are there? I've only played Shannara and Deathgate. I didn't expect this. I don't know. Gateway wasn't like this. I watched Doc play Gateway. Three others? The Rickster. Leaving the dialogue menu. All right. Hey, Teleraxis. A little nicer? Yeah. No, I think it's I think it's pretty funny. I think it's pretty funny. Do I plan on playing? Maybe someday. Maybe someday. I watched Macaw play some of it. Yeah, those, uh, they're not that long back backstabber. Maybe the, the past couple of months I've been playing through them. Oh, you count Xanth as that? I guess so. Yeah. Dude, I, I love Sound Blaster music. Uh, it's just, it's such... It's so good, dude. It's so good. Um, I love DOS music. Vermin! Do you know who I was? Do you? Nobody. Except on the day after, I was still alive. This nobody had a chance to be somebody. Thank you, Vermin, for the hundred bits. Thanks for the support, man. I know, the cause gone. He's not even visiting Hawaii. Hey, Zenzova! I never tried that one. Alright, we're in the scriptorium. <sighs> I'm getting really confused in this game now. Scribes. Look at Scribes. There's like too much to do now. It's just blown up. How do I do this? The Airman do looking do? at the Scribes. Talk to Scribes. There's a window. Okay. Look at window. Yeah, I know you appreciate it too, Brexia. Brexia will pump out ad lib music to the Fallout 4 watchers. Cracks me up. Rickatola looking at the window. I am looking at the window. Thanks, attendant. Oh my, what else is there? Tables. Look at tables. The Rickster looking at the tables. Okay. Uh, boy. 
Erico Rama, leaving Richard behind. North. Now what's up here? Ooh, an old woman. This room is stacked floor to ceiling with books and scrolls and stone tablets of all shapes and sizes. I am the great Lord Behind British. a small what table is Emily. Emily, the librarian of the gods. Uh, uh hi, uh, I'm new here. Got any good books? At Brooks? Of course we don't have any books. This is a library. We don't carry books or streams. No streams. Uh-oh. Or rivulets or anything like that. For that matter, we don't have ponds or lakes either. All that water could spoil the paper. And besides, how could you borrow a brook? You can't pick one up and... You break into her tyrant and say, Brooks! Not Brooks. Brooks! Oh, well that's different. Well then, never mind. Look at Emily. I almost went there, dude. All I gotta do is hit one button. One button! And this thing is over! Over! But I, I can bring it back. I can bring it back. It's, it's just temporary, though. It's just temporary. Pixel chasing. Welcome in. And it's over. Is this a Gilda Radner one? Oh. I didn't watch much when she was on. All right. The librarian fusses around for a few months and then says, You know, we haven't had a mortal in here in eons. It's not church lady, right? They better not all be SNL things. We, yeah, we saw the swing a few times, too. But I, I can't remember what those mortal books were. Perhaps I can find that reading list. Aw, oh, here it is. She blows, the, she blows the dust off the piece of paper and hands it to you. You can borrow any book you want, so long as it's on the list. I seem to have lost my glasses, so when you've Maybe made up your mind, no just way. tell me the title of the book you want. Okay. The no video symbol? Oh, that would be good to get. Chris Farley? Was he around in 93? It had to be like before 93. I don't know why they needed the virgins. I'm hoping we can get through this level. That's all I hoped for. Talk to Emily. I can barely see my voice is going out, Dana. I'd like to read some scrolls, please. Feed some trolls. This isn't the zoo, young man. You certainly have a lot of shelves in here. Trolls elves? Win. Trolls Sorry. Win. No elves in here. Why don't you get a hearing aid, you old bat? Oh, a herring trade. Why, no, thank you, young man. I don't believe I would like any fish today. And given that you're on the mountain of the gods, home of the most powerful beings on Taurus, I'd be careful who I called an old bat. Why can't I read these other scrolls? Feed geese, mother rolls. You're not making sense, young man. I give up. I can't take this any longer! Any longer? Oh, we don't have any beer here now. Bye! Okay. See you. I didn't have a choice! So she wants glasses? Look at Auntie Manu. Auntie has just donated one dollar. Where hey, are you gonna run? Where the hell are my Where are you gonna hide? Listen to me. Barter Town will live. Find the little man. The nuts are stuck in my Bring him back to me. We will rebuild. For those who took him. No mercy. Ah, uh, thank you, Auntie Entity. Wow, you thank you for the one dollar. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to read them. Read manuscripts. Read list. Read my list. Oh my god! The joy of Hex. Yes. You shout your request to the librarian. Emily wanders off, mumbling to herself as she goes. 
He never seemed happy to me. After a while, she returns and hands you a book. Remember, this is a lending library. I expect that book back here within 10 minutes. Read book. The Joy of X. This is a brief account of a few moments of happiness in the short life of an unidentified man. It How takes you I mere moments to read what it. What do I do? Oh my God. Give. Return book. Read. List. This is just... Just like when we got the beer. How are we gonna know which one to take? From here to eternity. Alright. From beer to maternity. Now that shouldn't surprise anyone. One thing leads to another, I always say. Remember! Okay. Read. Book. From beer to maternity. This book is about the dangers of drinking and dating. You read a few pages and discover nothing of real interest. The more I stare at that lizard's crotch, oh. I see something I shouldn't see. Arte, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Read the list. <laughs> Paradise Lost. Wasn't that a TV show? Oh, fuck him in the throat. That's how you do it. Oh, pair of dice lost. Why mortals are so fascinated with gambling is beyond me. Read book. Oh, it's an old book. What am I thinking of? Hey, cows potato. Stop requesting sounds, guys. Pair of dice lost. It's a story about a gambler's search for his lucky dice. Return by John Milton. Stairway to heaven. Lost? I'm th no, it's like, uh... Anyway, it doesn't matter. The oh, ghouls? That's okay. Golf is just the stupidest game ever invented. People chasing a little ball around a field all morning and then lying about how long it took them. Read book. Read book! Ooh, it's a golfer's autobiography that would have been better left unwritten. Return book! Fairway 11. We're getting all the wrong things. Hey, what's up, Matter? Good morning. Thanks to the pod gang, Curtis. The One Minute Miracle Worker. One minute. I knew a few fumble fingers once here who worked in a mirror factory. Unluckiest person I ever met. Okay. Let's see what book she gave us. The One Minute Mirror Call Worker. Oh, God. G O W R. How goes here? Uh, nightmare. We're playing, we're, we're, we're deep in the DOS right now. A fascinating account of a factory worker's attempt to speed up the detection and rejection of inferior products in a mirror factory. I don't think that's the book. Read list. <laughs> it's terrible, Zetsu Girl. East of Eden. I, I I love it when DOS gets bad. I don't know. Am I the only one? Why are restaurant guides always so popular? Seems to me all they ever talk about is the decor and the location. Alright. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, you, you're not gonna find this 1993 on Super Nintendo. The definitive guide to di the Eats of Eden. Close down long ago. Hey, Quas, welcome in. Power down. Thank you for the hundred birds. Return bus. I'm not defending this. But like, yeah, that's a Westwood Studios one, dude. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know what I'm doing. I own the cars. I have the cars. I think I got I got stuck in some sort of minecart place and gave up. I haven't played it since. 
All right, how to scale Mount not doing Spa. That, not doing that shit. How to scale Mount Spa. Is that like a typical section people give up? Why write a book about a sick horse? That's what I like to know. And what does the horse's father have to do with it? It's impossible. Oh, God. Are you a big fan, Frostitution? I, I, I will play it, and I'll play with an open mind. I'll play with a, uh, an open mind. <laughs> if I make a map, can you can you do it? Oh, God. Is it that bad? Hey, Doc Smog. I mean, there are parts in uh, Kyrandia you need to make a map. Alien Mount's Paw. Uh, uh, return book. Strict execution. All right. Well, I can't wait to rage quit live in front of everybody. The Grapes of Wrath. <laughs> Prostitution, you and me, we'll, 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 we'll get through it together. And everybody else uh, will be very upset with me. Violence, murder, mayhem. Whatever happened to good taste? Ugh. Read book. Oh God. I don't think that's the book. I, I don't think that's the book. Return book. Read list. Let's move on. All right. For whom the bell tolls? We did that one yet? Now, there's a good book. Yeah, All man. about the legends of bowling. Ah, that they do like bowling. Read yeah, rip. For whom the tell balls. What? A gripping account of professional sponsorship in the world of botch. We're getting high. Keeps you on the edge of your figure of seat for the entire 20 seconds to read it. I didn't get any points. I have no idea. She made it sound like that was a good book. Setting up Sodom Gomorrah. Priming the fountain. We might need it. We might need to remember that one. Hey, your score went up by five points. Why is everyone so fired interest? Why is everyone so all fired? Interested in climbing to the top of the mountain. No good can come of it, I say. Alright, score went up. Getting up spa from Agora. Climbing the mountain. Ah, oh, that sounds good. Take the jacket. Remove jacket. Get jacket. <gasps> Hat staying on. Woo, that was close. That was close. Jacket off. Damn. Kiss and while we're while we're at it. Young man, this is a library. But I get off work at seven. I don't think we kissed the naked lady earlier. Boba! Oh, at six o'clock, I think the game does end. That's why they have it seven. That makes sense. Inventory, what's in my hand? You're holding a book, a list, a note, a banana, <laughs> and a newspaper. <laughs> oh my God. And a banana. Examine book. All right, the blurb on the inside jacket at the cover says, the first book to reveal the step-by-step -step details of how to summon the golden stairway to the peak of Mount Spa. All right, should I just buy? I got the book I want. Yes, yes, yes. I have a dragon in there, that's right. That's right. My steak? That's a that's a plot item. 
S C O R E. If I say drink, you just need to drink some drink! Halfway? Are we halfway? The note? Morty, you gotta get me out of here. I've been up in this cave every day for five years. I'm freezing my buns up. Two more weeks of my contract's up. How about it, Morty? You're my agent. Can't you get me a cashier gig? I hear God of Wine is gonna open up soon. I can handle it, I swear. Hangovers are nothing compared to this frostbite. Yours, North. Is that my note? Laboratory. Oh my god. This is a cluttered workshop full of odds and ends. In a sealed counter, you see a rock, a bush, some pills and a pair of sandals, and a trumpet. And there they are. On the counter, you see a machine. As you enter, a white-coated scientist looks up and says, Welcome. I get so few visitors. Let me show you my latest project. He pats a large machine that is sitting on the counter. This is the prototype of an all-in-one plague machine. Up until now, our operatives have had to carry a separate piece of equipment for each plaque they, oh, <clears throat> plague they wanted to invoke. A staff for snakes, the thigh bone of a sheep for locusts, etc. Now this prototype is too large to carry, but when the final model is finished, all those separate functions will be combined in one small, easy to use device. Let me show you how this works. Just then, an aide sticks his head in the room and says, you're needed over in the New Worlds lab. Johnson said he dropped a file and there was a really big bang. Ah, drat! He gives you an apologetic nod and leaves the room. Take pills. It's closed, sealed, and impregnable. Mount case. We'll see how impregnable this really is. Oh, you can't get the game. I can't get in there. I could not come. Look. At machine. Got it. A button, a switch, a lever, a knob, and a crank. The library book suddenly disappears. Fuck! Oh my god! My book's gone! Turn knob. Swarm of giant gnats attack your head. Bye. Turn L push button. More locusts! Hi, Ninja Zombie. Hit switch. Push switch. I don't know. You throw the switch! A coat hanger appears, then another! The first two mate, and a third appears. Soon you are inundated in copulating coat hangers with obviously disastrous results. You have failed. What the fuck? Look at machine. Alien, my voice is almost gone. I, I would like to finish this area, but I may not. I don't know. All right, let's pull lever. Oh, we get frogs. I guess we don't get to bang the frogs. Uh, crank, turn. Crank. Thank you, Alien. I appreciate that. You are knee deep in slime wigs. Hey! They immediately disappear through cracks in nearby walls, but one of them is slower than the rest and is left behind. Get slime wig. Score! I haven't saved in a while. I don't know how far back we are. All right, what's that? Can't do anything. Else. What's the slime wig? 
Now, what's this guy's problem? Look at machine. Kick machine. I don't know how to fix these. No. Punch machine. Push machine. Nothing happens. Okay. Sorry, the Oracle's department is closed today. It was in last week's predictions. Didn't you get them? No. No. Let's get the let's get the book again. Read list. Really gate really great rituals. Let's get this book again. Read book. All right, South. Should we get out of here then? I'm trying to follow what the game wants me to do. All right. What was the guy's note? Morty? West? I want to get that key. I want that key really bad. North into the woods. Oh, shit. Okay, map. E. The windy cave is Eat to the, the north. Meat. Get fat, good girl. Give book. I, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Give. Who is this? To God. I don't know what I'm doing. Pass the note to Morty. All right. We didn't try kissing her. I'm curious. Only in your dreams, sailor. Fine. Sal. The book disappears. Bye, book. I'm sorry, the goddess of fertility is busy at the moment. Give note to Cleo. Maybe I gotta read the book there. Yeah. What's up, Wasabi? Give note to Cleo. All right. She looks at the note and hands it back to you. Then she yells at the closed door, Marty, someone here to see you. He'll be out in a few minutes. Yes, at the end, the world has been scheduled, but I can't release the timetable yet. We'll be issued a press release soon. You want another physical? Share health reliable. Ha, ha, ha. More like liable for a slam. Uh-oh. Hey, what's up, Havoc? Welcome in, dude. I am... I'm I'm now knee deep in Eric the Unready. I wish I could explain to you what's going on. Uh, what? What? No! Wait! Oh! Ah! Where is Morty? Oh, here we go! Here we go! The door to Morty's office opens. Remember Morty, they chorus. We are two wild and crazy gods. They do a slow shimmy out the front entrance. Morty puts his arm around your shoulder and guides you in his office. All right, we're going. Put your damn clothes on. Yes, it's just like Gateway. CJ. All right, there's Morty. Let's say hi to Morty. Yeah, this is legendary entertainment. It's very distinct style. Morty's office is cluttered with tacky bric-a-brac. The walls are crowded with mementos and autographed pictures of him with gods and goddesses. Morty plops into the leather chair behind him and says, Immortal? Hey, don't get many of them up here. What can I do for you? Ha ha. Look at Morty. Oh, GG's Rick. Seems to have a grin. Permanently affixed to his face. That's 
a gold chain. Alright. Take its work for it. Hey, Big Mata. Wild and crazy guys. Uh, it keeps going. Talk to Morty. Hey, Morty. Who are the people in these pictures? Oh, these aren't people, Bubba. These are deities. First class gods and goddesses who I helped get where they are today. Uh, to whom should I sacrifice so my quest will be successful? Alright, let me see here. The logical choice would be the god of lost causes, but he's busy with the Bush campaign. Oh! I guess your best bet would be the god of blind, dumb, stumbling luck. Okay. Let's write that down. I'd like to get in and talk to the people in your legal department. No, you wouldn't, kid. Trust me on this one. I'd like to be a god. Yeah, everybody says that, but let me tell you, the hours are lousy, the pay is worse, and everybody wants to talk to you all the time. My advice, be a bum. You can set your own hours. You work outside, and there aren't any annual performance reviews. Oof. Thanks for the advice. No problem, enjoyed it. Let's take another meeting sometime. Have your people call my people. All right. What was I doing with this? How do I shove my balls in his mouth? That's all I want to know. Did I give him the note? Okay. He takes the note and tosses you a small wooden token. Hey, thanks, kid. Hey, Cleo! The receptionist comes in and Morty says, Take a letter. Dear North, I got two offers cooking for you right now. One is a two-year gig as the god of the moon. The other is six months like as god as volcanoes. Balls? I'm guessing... Stay, stay, stay. Sorry, the other is six months... Okay, I'm guessing the moon's a little cold for you after this last job, so I'm trying for the volcanoes. It's messy, but at least it's warm. Let me know what you think. Morty pauses and appears to think. Your score has gone up. There she is! Cleo! His sandals? I don't know. Can I look at it? No. Look at Cleo. No. That's a huge bitch. She's gone. Hi, Indiger. Morty comes out as Reverie. Uh, sign it. Best personal regards, Morty. Thanks, sweetheart. That's all. By the way, Here's a little something I picked up for you on my last trip, Mortal Side. It's some woad for your makeup kit. Hey, I'd let you go in there if it wasn't up to me. Uh, the guys in there really aren't so bad when you get to know them, but the other folks around here don't like them. So we have to keep them locked up. Morty comes out from behind his desk and says, Hey, thanks for stopping by, kid. Next time you're on the mountaintop, stop by and we'll do lunch. Ciao, babe. Back to Cleo. Alright. So what do we get? A note? We got another note? I got a token. Look at... Oh, crap. Wait. A passenger pigeon flies overhead the Agora and drops a note. Get note. Read note. The note is written in an indecipherable foreign language. All you can tell is that it is addressed to Morty. Read token. It's a perfectly round token with the word to it stamped on it. Oh. West. North? I can't help her. She's got the golden key. Okay. Give token to... What do you call this guy? North Wind. Uh... 
talk to North Wind. Okay. Cold enough for you? Alright. Tell me about Morty. He's my agent. He's the agent of all the gods. He's the guy who gets us these gigs. Happy birthday! Sure, some birthday. Come back in two weeks. <laughs> then you'll see a smile on my face. How long have you been up here? It seems like forever, but it's only been five years. I've only got two more weeks to go, though. I remember, because today's my birthday, and I started this gig just two weeks after my birthday. Uh, why are you mad at Morty? Be the god of the north wind, he says. You'll be on all the maps, he says. Big deal. Here I am, bottled up in this cave. I never get out. No one sacrifices to me. Do you ever see any virgins up here? No. Oh, the goddess of spring gets all the sacrifices. What's she gonna do with a bunch of virgins? I can't even blow my nose without one of the sunbathers down there complaining about it. Oh, it's been fun shooting the breeze. I'm gonna go now. All right, go ahead, just leave. Drop to it, get to it. <laughs> Well, I don't want to, uh, look, show token to God. Pull tail. Burn God. Burn, baby, burn! Oh, no! No. What's the point of the... There's no point. Pull tail. Happy birthday! Well, thank you, Wasabi. I didn't know. I did, Lateralis. I did. Uh, melt icicles. You managed to melt a few drops, but it's so cold that everything freezes over again. Melt God. You gaze at the north wind with your heat vision, but nothing happens. I guess your superpowers just aren't working today. That's not what I mean. Melt God with fire. No fire here. Pull 70 bits. Oh, boy. Melt God with fire. They usually don't let you do that until after the trial for witchcraft. The flame goes out. Mount God with... Wait a minute. Pepperoni, thank you for the 70 bits. Yo, thank you very much. Uh... I got the slime wig. Look at slime wig. This is so weird. Wear a slime wig. Give slime wig to God. He's not paying attention. He's not paying attention. Maybe I gotta give the next note to Morty then. Did I not burn God? I thought I did. We can try again. I don't want to get stuck in a... Uh, Parser hell. Pull tail. Burn god. No. Yeah, that's... Not allowed. Give the dragon to him. I could. Maybe give it to him? It's a gem? It's definitely a gem. It is. I just wish I kind of knew what I was doing. It's a little confusing. At this point, I'm kind of just... If you have ideas, let me know. I'm not looking for, like, direct walkthrough. But if you have ideas, by all means. Let's go visit Marty again. What? Give note to Cleo. All right. Wait. Thank you, Rasmus. Waiting on Morty. 
All right, here we go. Sure, you can charge 50 bucks for the book, babe. Just make sure the bookers aren't too tame. Nice. The goddess licks his ear and then leaves. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a blonde goddess who is wearing underwear outside her clothes. What? All right, whatever. There's too many references in here. Everything's a reference. All right, show note to Morty. Here you go, Morty. Welcome to Barbecue. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Rig. Hey. How's the chaos going? Laughing face. Her voice didn't sound too good on the hey. Hey, thanks for the five months. Thank you, Barbecue Face. Thank you. All is good. All is good. It's, it's a pretty wild game. We'll probably have to come back to this game because uh, my voice is going out. That's never a good sign. Take a memo. Atlas, I know you're getting tired, but how to try to hang on a little longer. I'm sending Hercules over to spell for you for a while. All right. Morty pauses and appears to think. Give note to Morty. There's no note. Oh, oh, I didn't read that. He glances at the note and then wants it up and throws it away. Is that just how I get in and out of this? Does that just distract her? All right. Get one. Aha. I see. Look on shelf. Is there more stuff there? Look on case. No. I might be able to steal more stuff. I think I got the woad. Examine woad. The bright blue compound that primitive peoples used to smear themselves with during religious ceremonies. Okay, does a passenger pigeon drop by again? Let's see. Yes. You get the note, and the note's on the ground. All right. So that gets you in and out of Morty's. And you might be able to steal more shit. Probably. The gold coin, yeah. It's like, not really soft lock, you can keep going. But if you run out of time, things go bad. I am cool, like really cool. Hello there, hello there. That's what you think. Oh, I'm torturing people with this game. Give note to Cleo. Summon me, Morty! Wait, wait, wait. All right. Here comes Morty, we're gonna say, uh, When does the chick come up? Okay. Where's my note? Give note to Cleo. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Ugh, wait. There's too much words. All right, we're in Morty's place. Give note to Morty. Almost. Give note to Morty. Here you go. Cleo! Alright. What do you want to get? I beg your pardon. Don't waste my turn. Hold on. What is that? The costume. She came back already! Ah! Oh. Oh, God, I don't know what the words are. Luck on case. Okay, so here's all the freaking things you can get. Undo? Oh, it's too late. Hi, Sailor Midgard. Good morning. Plaque. This is fucked up. The costume. This is fucked up. You're all 
Painting. Boat. Trophy. Those are all the things. All right. North. Now I'm gonna run out of time, too. I'll wait for the bird, wait for the bird, get. No, it's good to see you, Sailor Midgard. Losing my mind with this game. This game was really cool at the start. And it's gotten progressively more and more and more insane. Okay. Oh, God. Give note to Cleo. I, I totally licked his ass! What happened? All right. Wait for Morty. Wait. I just pooped a coin out of All my right. Ass. There's Morty. Give note to Morty. There you go. Yeah. It's interesting, but it's like a lot of weird shit going on. Get costume. Ah, you take the costume from the case. I'll do this all over again too. All right, what's this costume like? Look, oops. Page cleaner. Uh, I don't know what's on his shoes. Look at costume. A feathered serpent costume. Can I wear it? Computer game. Wear a costume. You Adam put on the, the costume. Horrible thing I Page think cleaner. Of. Did I get points with the woad? I don't know. A massive chest. North. Yeah, this is the game soundtrack. This guy doesn't want the uh, token, huh? Give token to God. He just keeps stamping up and down, flailing his arms back and forth while trying to keep warm. Maybe I gotta make a fire. That's my dad! I don't know. Oh, I love the soundtrack in Gabriel Knight. Well, I only played the first one. That's the only game. I'm sure they're all good. Um... It's so good. I agree. Oh, man. Fire? You see the golden key. Give woad to God. Does she want that? She doesn't want anything. Oh! Hat's, hat's staying on. Score. Yeah, I'm surprised everyone likes two a lot. I don't know. I need Tim Curry. Retro Brindell, welcome in. I might be able to steal some more shit, we can see. Give no to Cleo. All right, can I keep doing this? Wait five minutes. Drain the, the fluid from the testicles, there. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. All right, there's Morty. Hydration. Oh, thank you, Gorilla. Thank you, thank you, Gorilla. All right. Uh, no. No, give him the fucking note. Ah, oh, it takes so long to do this. Give note to Cleo. Good grief. You're back? Huh, lawyers, right? Alright. It's gonna be more than three hours. It'll probably be like 12 hours. Give note to Morty! That's it, we're ball sack. Quit the game. Hare Krishna. There you go, they got everything in this. All right, so I wanna grab, what now? Oh, I went in the wrong hole. Uh, That's it, we're the ball painting. sack. Quit the game. 
Awesome. You can't take the painting. Dana, basically, I gotta write down everything we did and then do it all over. We'll undo work. That'll send her off. We can get the boat. Get the boat. You see? But, but, but that would be stealing. Fuck that level. Plaque. You can't remove the plaque. That's why the why dentist keeps telling you to floss. Levels. Undo. Get trophy. Fuck that level. It's too heavy to lift. Did I? That's it. That's it. Look. Look at picture. Employee of the month. Read picture. The god of luck. Well, congratulations to the god of luck. Take Cleo. Well, she's not in the room. Looks like there's nothing left in here. And then it's the case. Scroll down the item in the list. I'm at 12 hours again. Yeah. That's everything. Uh, I got the woad. We stole the woad. And we stole the costume. So I think what we gotta do is get that book again. Yeah. The woad is got. I don't know how you pronounce that. I wasted so much time. I guess they expect you to replay this shit. Okay, let me reread this damn book. Read list. I want the... Priming the fountain? Priming the fountain. That's what it was. Let's move this over. Okay. Read book. Examine. All right, it contains a ritual that will make a golden stairway appear. Where is that? From Agora. The first book to reveal the step-by-step step -step details of how to summon the golden stairway to the peak of Mount Spa. Well, we don't know where that is. Is that just at Agora? That's my it was outside. Yeah, where the notes drop. Ritual. You see a ritual? I guess just read this thing. Yeah, we saw the uh, glint. The peak of Mount Spa. Here you go. Take the list. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste time. Go west. It's very weird, Apple. It's been good. I've, I've been happy with the music. Read book. You turn to the page at the table of contents. Published by Oracle Books. Everything in this book has entered the public domain. It's no longer pursued. Read book. What did I do? Preface. Oh, dude, I already fucked it up, huh? Author's acknowledgments. This son. Oh my god, it's gone. All right. It's driving me nuts, dude. Yeah, we added the the magic sound effect. Because we're we're starting to play Dragon Quest. Thought it'd be fun to add it. I didn't know how loud to make the sounds to the Midgard. NES sounds are very loud. Read list. Then 
know what I mean? Page cleaner. You know what I mean? Have taken advantage of my kind and generous nature. All right. And that is a grievous error on your part. There's the book. Just read the jacket then, huh? I mean, at 6, at 6 p.m., it's over. Oh, you were playing it. Okay, that would do it. You see a note here? Sorry about the beeping. It's, it's when I mess up. Read jacket. Read book. A ritual. Oh, how do I get that? Examine book. In Agora, take the note. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you guys have ideas, if you have suggestions, you can drop suggestions. A copy of it. The Golden Stairway. There was a scribe? Oh, the dudes. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to go back. Okay, we gotta go back there. That's right. Making copies. Here we go. We are so gonna run out of time. That's okay. Read a list. This is ridiculous. I gotta do it, Backstabber. I'm sorry. Right. The book selling disappears. Try again. Hey, what's up, Emil? Welcome to Weird DOS Games. Been a, I've been reading all day, losing my mind. Bye! Okay, let's go find, uh... That's the laboratory? Wait, 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 where the hell is it? Is it south from here? Ah, the scriptorium! Okay, let's go talk to Rob Schneider. The Rickster, coming to see Richard. Give book to scribes. Rigatola, given the book. Uh, talk to Richard. Now, how does this work? I'd like to get something copied, please. The Ericulator, not reading the signs. Bummer. What happens to the originals? Ericatola asking questions. Richard, something stupid. Just chilling out? Oh, right on! Excellent. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Read sign. Please give the original the item you wish to relate to the attendant on duty. Give book to a ten dant. Richard disappears into the back. He returns moments later and hands you a perfect copy. Presumably keeping the original somewhere in the back. Alright. Richard scratches his ear and intones, The Rickinator, solving the puzzle, making the points, way to go. All right. Thank you. Bye. It's so, so I silly. Hate these fucking puzzles. I know. All right, let's go read the ritual at the Gora. Read. Is it just book or is it a copy? Rick saw the sign and it opened up his eyes. Rick saw the sign. I saw the sign. Power down. Thank you for the hundred bits. Thank I you. Hate Thank these you. fucking puzzles. Much appreciated. Oh shit! It's going. I thought I read this page already. All right. 
First, Wallace and the Agora stand upon the holy egg of oblivion, so that memories of all gods other than the great god Otis shall be erased from thy mind. Did I save them? Uh, we, yes. We, well, we, we're past the virgins now. I don't know what's going on back there. We're, we're in a new area. Oh, stand on the holy egg of oblivion. Well, we gotta go there. I did? Alright, we'll read it again. We'll read it again. Prepare thyself by wearing the sacred costume of Og, and by spearing thy cheeks with woad, that thou mightest might seemeth pleasing in the eyes of the great god Otis. Oh god, no! Yeah, we moved on for the virgins you quite well. There you goes Soda Pagoda. Have a good morning, how are you? Then, whilst uh, holding a copy of the sacred ritual, shalt thou perform these actions in sequence, remembering all the while that a departure from the correct order shall take thee back to square one. Okay, don't fuck up. Ah, oh, you're at work. I'm sorry, man. I'm okay. I'm okay. I've been reading. I've been reading a book to chat all day. That's what I've been doing. This is why I don't play Planescape Torment. That's why no one plays Planescape Torment on Twitch. All right, the steps of the ritual. I'm not big into books. Something happened. Partake of a lime, a live slime wig. Okay. Turn around that thou might be seen from all sides by the all-seeing, all-knowing God, Otis. Otis. Fourth. Turn around again, in case Otis wasn't watching the first time. Fifth and finally, thou must squawk like a chicken. Now, how would I squawk? Squawk. Oh, I can't squawk right. <laughs> what? Did you hear that? <laughs> Alright. That's good. Alright. How do we get up there, though? So, you want me to do what? The golden stair to appear. Is that- are we in the right spot? Here then are the steps of the ritual. The Holy Egg of Oblivion. Uh... Yeah, that goes by fast. Partake of a live slime wig. Turn around. Turn around. Squat. The R.I. Ginator reading the game text. The Ice Mages of the 72nd Temporal Plane getting burninated by the Fire Maker in O's. The Rigmeister oh. losing his hat. <laughs> the Rigman born than bald. Bald. Thank you, Samson, for the 100 bits. Thank you, Samson. Thank you. We're getting through no, this no. game. We're getting through this now. The egg means? I don't know. I don't know. You smear the woad on your cheeks. A voice says, Not those cheeks. Embarrassed, you fumble around in your pants. After a moment, the voice says, That's better. Wow. Turn. Turn. Turn around. Turn around. Squawk. <laughs> Read book. What did I do wrong? Here are the steps of the ritual. More like dark as you'll and be thankful for all the cheating. No, we're not cheating. First, I, I can't read it. Okay, whilst in the Agora, stand upon the holy egg of oblivion. Oh, the slime wig. Ah. 
Oh, I forgot the slime wig. single thing that's going on. I don't know if this is the egg of oblivion. Alright. Eat slime. Wait, is that what they mean? You pop the disgusting thing into your mouth. You know how sometimes you eat something that you think is going to taste terrible, but it turns out to be okay? Well, such is not the case here. The instant you put the slime wig in your mouth, it attaches little suckers to the back of your teeth. So that while its rear end is halfway down your throat, its front end is hanging on for dear life. So now it's trying to crawl up while you're trying to get it down. Finally, you bite off its little pseudopods and it slides, wriggling and screaming all the way down to your stomach, where it gives you a couple of kicks and then lies still. There it is. Yeah, Chen Gil, how you doing? What's the egg? I don't know. You got a you got a Pokeball! Hell yeah, Chef Krondo! Fuck yeah, man. Right on. I haven't seen old oh boy. Okay, turn around. We get the torture music. You feel a kick in your stomach. That's not quite dead yet. Uh-oh. Turn around. Small salty burp. I'm at 12 hours again. Slime wig, turn around, turn around, squawk. I'm at 12 hours Got it. again. Pass stain on. Oh! What did I. What am I doing wrong with the damn chicken thing? Oh my god, the slime wig's gone. Slime wig is gone. It's. What? No! No! We, we already had the woad on, right? The woad's already on. Oh my god. What do I replace? What do I do? Oh my god. Oh my god. I just got the hat back. Oh! I'm, I'm on the egg right now. I'm on the egg. This is the egg of oblivion. I'm at 12 hours again. No. It is not the egg of oblivion. Fuck. Look at egg. No egg here. All right, hey, Garen. All right, maybe she's hiding the egg down there. Look at egg. No egg here. Windy K. We're never beating this, are we? <laughs> Look at egg! There's no egg! If I was an egg... Is the token an egg? Okay. Can I go northeast? The promontory. Does he have an egg? Look at egg. No, I haven't. Give token to Joe. Say thanks. I like you. Here's a little present. He returns your gift moments before. Can you just give the token back? Just gave the token back. All right. Let's go. See a note here. Get the note again. Get a note. Um. It never says she wants anything. I think I tried to give it to her. Give token to goddess. No, not impressed. I am not throwing for content. All right, I see what's going on in chat. I have never thrown for content, ever. Never. <laughs> Those trees are still Look better than the Final Fantasy V like trees. I, I do gotta say. All right, give token to Cleo. Doesn't care. 
trying to find an egg. Give token to repair man. Well, would you look at that? Around to it. Well, I, I guess I better get to work. He opens the machine and fiddles with its innards. Then he closes it up again. Good as new. He tosses you a coin. Give it a try. Put coin in machine. The penny falls in the machine with a satisfying kink. A bottle of nectar appears below. You take the nectar and suddenly you hear a grinding noise from inside the machine. Whatever gremlin was occupying the machine before has returned with a vengeance. Not machine. Talk to machine. Take the bottle. Look at nectar. Nectar of the gods? Trademark. Okay. Maybe the the guy in the cave wants it. Okay. Pro clue. We got less than two hours. Okay. West. Around to it? it was that the joke, though? Oh my god, thank you, Ice Wizards. Thank you. I didn't quite get the token overall. <laughs> he got around to it. It's pretty dumb. I mean, that was pretty dumb. So he did the job. <laughs> Give nectar to goddess. Not interested. All right, this might warm him up. Give nectar to god. wrong with this guy? Pull dragon tail. All right. Just don't be bald. Burn <laughs> note. Doesn't seem to be flammable. <sighs> I got the newspaper. Pull tail. The newspaper disappears. Probably spoiling any chance you have of winning this game. What? Is it gone gone? <laughs> nah, it's still there. It's still there. Alright. What else could I melt? The book! No, I need the book. Pull tail. Burn book. That's everything I have. What the hell is this guy's problem? You got a problem, asshole. I know, I should go to bed soon. I know. We hit 12 hours yet? Those juicy, wonderful asses. South. Oh, fuck, say it! All right. Let's go back to the laboratory. E. E for East. How many bolts in board? E. All right. A pair of sandals. Oh, trumpet. A rock, a bush, some pills, oh, sandals, and a trunk. That's some weird shit. When I type look, what exactly does it have? And I can't open the counter. Don't 
the right thirsty- Did I not give everybody a drink? Okay. You're right. Well, I need to get another slim- slime wig. Forgot somebody. Pull? What was it? Hold on. Look at machine. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, J Tuesday. Don't like this track? Pull lever. Not the one. Uh, turn switch. Coat hangers. You have failed. Turn crank. Slime wigs. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. It's the crank. Okay. Cage cleaner. Cage cleaner. Got it. I need the egg. Give nectar to Cleo. Note to Cleo. Cage cleaner. Marty, somebody's here to see ya. Wait. Is that Dr. Rock's Wait. All right. Stupid women. All right. Are we in? Okay. Give nectar to Morty. I'm not Come buying on, anything don't buy. today. Hot for you. Give note to Morty. Give nectar to Morty. To more. Give nectar to Cleo. No thanks, too fattening. Alright. Can I go south? Ciao, babe. Alright, bye. Yeah, I don't know which one to... I don't know how many cycles to use. Northeast? Sure, I'll show you the map. Give me a second. Give nectar to Joe. Thanks. But I can only have one sip. It makes me pee. He gives it right back to you. Uh... Alright, we're running out of people. We have one hour. And I gotta do this all over again. South? All right, Ricatola, give nectar to Richard. The original song? Did he just give me a copy of the nectar? What? Give nectar to scribe. Yeah, right. It's All right, I think we give it to the worker. He, he'll yeah, drink a whole right. bunch, right? Because he forgot. Yeah. He's got the memory problem. Let's go back to him. Okay. Give nectar to... Bill. Excuse me, Bill. Thanks, I can only have one sip. Give nectar to Jim. Thanks, but I can only have one sip. It makes me pee. Moments later, he suddenly gets a very strange expression on his face. Uh, excuse me. Well, well, well. Look in the hole. You see? You see? An egg! There we go. Get the egg. We got the egg! Ah, look at egg. It's the fabled egg of oblivion. Lose his memory. Wow! Right. Congratulations! Go blinding. Yeah, how'd you know there'd be a freaking egg there? Get note. Read book. All right, folks. Stand upon the holy egg of oblivion. Stand on 
egg. Then eat. Th I'll write this down. All right. Stand on egg. Eat slime wig. Three. Turn around. Four. Turn around. Five. Squawk. You're already wearing the woad. All right. Stand on egg. Drop egg. Stand. Stand on egg. Eat slime, right? Eat slime. Wig. Gross. Turn around once. Turn around. Squawk. <laughs> Nothing happens. After a while, one of the gods wanders through the Agora and catches sight of you wearing a silly costume. Your cheeks bright blue, standing on an egg and looking like you just swallowed a slime wig. He stops and says, Oh, you're not performing the old golden stair ritual, are you? Jeez, no, that was replaced years ago. Didn't you get the software upgrade? All right, never mind, never mind. I'll take care of it for you. He mumbles something under his breath, and a shining golden stare appears in the middle of the Agora! Take care, the god calls as he passes from sight. Moments after he leaves, you hear an explosion of laughter, as if someone had been trying to keep it in, but then simply couldn't hold it any longer. Your score has just gone up by 20! Agora on the egg. How do I? Climb stairway. You climb the stairway, wishing all the while you could get rid of that Led Zeppelin tune that keeps running through your head. The peak! The view from the top of Mount Spa is breathtaking. You can see all the tourists laid out before you, except of course for the places that are already passed through, most of which are still obscured by a pall of smoke. Huh. Strangely enough, the ground up here is neither dirt nor rock. It's a circle of cork. Roughly six feet in diameter, the crowbar of a apocalypse. There it is. Secured by a golden strap that runs right across the cork to a golden lock at the edge. Oh, it's locked up, dude! I need the key! Mill key! Hi, Gliverish. Get crowbar. Mill key! Diggy! Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Damn it. She's not gonna give us the key, right? All right. Talk to goddess. Talk to goddess. Tell me about the key. I don't know anything about it except it's been there for ages. Okay. Look behind you, a giant snake. Where's your other hand? Now your business. All right. Get key. You can't reach it from here. All right. That's my What's on the west side? Be not so bold, mortal. She won't kiss us. She says, in your dreams, sailor boy. Yeah, I saw the, the bulletin board. The board. Fresh cakes for all occasions. Delivery in 30 eons or less. Call 1-800-DOMINUS. Remember, Dominus delivers. Read board. Oh, that's staying on. 
Ah, oh, son of a god, I went easy on him. Depressed? Can't commit suicide. Call the Divine Intervention Hotline for immediate counseling. There's always someone there to talk to you. Read. Board. Condo available for sale or rent. Mm, yes. Ideal oh, location on Island of the Gods. Overlooks Championship Golf Course. Built on former site of the Garbage Dump of the Gods. A phone to call that number? Oh yeah. Do I comb? No, my arms are. I don't have a comb. Why would I have a comb? The competition to select the company bumper sticker is coming to an end. Be sure to register your choice by the end of this century. The finalist slogans are: "Immortals do it forever." Worship us, or we'll kill you. Honk if you're for silent prayer. I went to heaven. All I got was this lousy bumper sticker. God didn't exist for the world seven days running six days. Oh God! All right. Read, board. I don't oil and comb. No, I don't. It's it's just out, they're out of control right now. Created something so big you can't lift it. Call Titan Moving and Storage. Specialist in paradox removal for over six millennia. Read board. Fall bowling leagues now forming. Opening still available on quality teams like Rolling Thunder, Olympian Boomers. Look at those arm hairs. Yo, those virgins, we spent a lot of time struggling with the virgins. Are you a lonely angel? Come to the Thomas Aquinas School of Ballroom Dancing and learn to dance on the head of a pin. Group rates available. Due to recent complaints, the automatic payroll deduction for life insurance has been discontinued. Thirty ounce that's called. What? Hey! No! No chance! Alright, at that rate, yeah! Thank you, Shy. My name is Hans. Well, there goes the hat. Has ruined my life. One eight hundred Dominus. Do you have a phone? Talk to Cleo. Come on, Cleo. Was there another phone? I don't think I saw it. Look. Reception desk. A large trophy case. Speaks into her headset. The Thomas Aquinas. It allows us to have 16 times Oh, I have the note. Detail. Oh my god, we're gonna run out of time. This is so not fair! Alright. I mean, the, the, the beginning, the first half of this game was fine, Duke. The first half was fine. It, it got, it got ridiculous. Uh, she might, yeah. Give note to Cleo. Definitely requires playing a few times. Give note to Cleo. Hold your unicorns, honey. He'll be out in a minute. Oh, sorry. My bad. Okay. Give note to Morty. Oh, there's plenty of games worse than this, guys. East. All right. Now. Shit. Get phone. Get headset. Call 1 800 Dominus. Thank you for calling Dominus. We'll be right over. Bye. Clear return. Take your place behind the desk. Oh! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. And I have played them all. Yes. Yes, I have. Yo, Red Crystal, that was 
literally broken for more than half the game. Lumbo. I don't know what Dominus is going to do. Heavy lifting. Let's read, let's read what it said. No. Hang on. Titan moving. Did I need them? Read board. Fresh cakes for all occasions. Delivery in 30 eons or less. 30 eons? I'm gonna have to. It's 6 o'clock. Oh no! It's 6! Ah! Shit! Now! It's now! One 900 pro clue. Maybe I gotta call that. One nine hundred pro. Live for uh, thirteen hours. You could just dial the thing here. Oh my God! Looking for clues? You come to the right place. When you hear the beep, please enter your name and address. We'll have a game author come directly to your house within six to ten days. Oh. Shit! Oh. All right. They haven't killed me yet. Drops a note. Um, no! take the note. Climb. St no, I need the damn. I need the key. They may not be able to get up here. Oh God! Talk to. Talk to goddess. Still doesn't want to say anything, huh? All right. Why won't you let me go west? Dragon no, no, don't touch me there. This is my no-no square. Give berries to goddess. Did you read the note? Read note. The notes for Morty. Go south? Oh god. Hi, Titanic ants. <sighs> I don't know. Still got the nectar. Dragon's tail. Costume. The book, the berries, the banana. The thing is, I can't... I gotta burn something. I'm pretty sure when we go down, we'll probably, uh... Things will probably go bad. Yep. Uh, well, that, that item lets you... Hats on? That that note just lets you talk to Morty as much as you want, right? It's just like a repeatable thing. There's south, down, and out. Are they all the same place? You want another Matt. physical? Chair health enduring. Good, because it needs to handle all, all the, the slamming and 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 Wait, 30 eons. No. Wait. I don't think anyone's coming, guys. No one's coming. Absolutely nobody's coming. A delivery Honey. boy just came! Sorry Honey. I'm late, it's halftime at the Ragnarok Bowl. And we're flooded with orders. He hands you a cake and then just leaves. Coming. Look at cake. Look Coming. at it's a lovely cake. Country. Angel food, of course. It's festooned with lovely candles. I was right. warned of thy coming. You see a golden key. Thy 
Lion shall have brought thee low. I want to feed it to her, but I think this guy needs a cake. All right. Pull. Tail. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go I'm to bed. I'm getting close to it. I am. Light cake with fire. You hold the dragon up over the candles. The spray of fire ignites them all. The god of the north wind grabs the offering and cries in delight. For me. How thoughtful of you. He closes his eyes and makes a wish. Then he sucks in his breath and unleashes a blast of wind that not only extinguishes the candles but uproots them from the cake and carries them flying down the hillside on a frigid stream of air that freezes everything in its path. Uh-oh. That's gonna freeze the pond. Let's go down. Let's have a look here. She's gone! All right, the goddess has fled. Get the key. Freeze! Well, I guess I can't go west anymore. Climb, stair. I'm surprised it hasn't gamed over me yet. It's not seven yet, who knows. Ice skate, I don't know. Unlock. Lock with key. All right, you put the key in the lock and give it a twist. The lock falls open and the strap comes loose. The golden staircase disappears. You're a faint creak coming from the edges of the cork where it fits into the mountain. Get crowbar. You take the crowbar. The creak turns into an ominous groan. The cork starts to tremble and shake. And you notice there's more of it sticking up out of the mountain than there would have been before. I haven't saved the game. Have a hat sound. Well, that's not embarrassing at all. Whoops. Crowbar. Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. All over my lips. Yeah, 7 o'clock we can date the librarian. Ah, uh, what just happened here? Ah, uh, the ground appears near the dirt nor it's a circle of cork. Space sperm all got over it. My face. With the stairs have been taken to a powder. Hello. Meanwhile. A bachelor party for me. You guys are the greatest. I bet L'Oreal is sorry she wasn't invited. Okay. You know, guys. Looks like that game Duke likes to play. That Japanese game. <laughs> it just doesn't get any better than this. Hey, honey, he's playing that clown music game again. Oh, George. Last time we're getting, you Get know what I mean, nose. too. I'm ready. That's what? It. We're ball sack. Want to party? This is the south shore of a murky swamp. You see a raft populated by strange looking crew here. You see a newspaper. Press one in chat if you like a degenerate. Wow. Out of the mist, a raft approaches. It you is see? manned by a very you unusual see? looking crew. <laughs> Dude! It, it is! Coming, but it worked. It is Star Trek. The person who appears to be the captain is holding a sawed off tree trunk. Me. And you see him speak into it. Captain's Log, Swamp Date 91692. We have encountered strange alien life form who is peering at us through a transparent screen while manipulating an imaginary alter ego through our world. We will offer assistance to this alter ego while observing the character of its master. He lowers the log and says, Hail Traveler, we offer you passage across this swamp. Captain's log. We're in the swamp! Now it's 9 a.m. Okay. Okay, we actually got through that Captain last Kirk chapter. Is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? We actually got through that chapter. I can't believe we got Captain through that, Kirk guys. Climbing a mountain. I am Why shocked we got through that. I was stumbling through that so bad. 
Captain Kirk is climbing a Scotty? mountain. Scotty? Why is he climbing a mountain? <laughs> Look at Scotty. Where, where, where? Oh, he has gray hair and a gray mustache and seems to have gained an alarming amount of weight recently. Oh, no, Scotty. Look at Captain. He is a 250 pounds Captain of Captain. Kirk is climbing a mountain. Stuffed Why into a 170 pound Captain shirt. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I appreciate the nudges. That Those were great. They were great. Smirk and Spock. Look at Spock. He's a tall and thin with pointy eyebrows and a pointy nose with a pointy chin. His skin has a bluish cast with undoubtedly a mild case of apoplexy brought on by prolonged... Okay. Look at Smirk. Oh, Captain Smirk. Oh, I get it. I get it. Is it just the three of them? Look at crew. Oh, we want to go look at Tech War again? Okay. Bones. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. A kilted Scotsman. Oh, look baby, at you're my baby. You're a baby my, doctor. My baby. Look at skeleton. What are you looking at me for? I'm just an old country skeleton who should have stayed home instead of signing on to go gallivanting around the swamp. Yeah. Looks like the music decided to die, too. I don't know, Edgar. I don't know what's going on. Look at Indians. Strong, silent type. Look at baby doctor. I don't know what the doctor thing is. Music off. Music on. Ah, the music just cut out. Who knows? Quit? Please. Please. Please quit. We are done for tonight. We are done for tonight. We'll... <laughs> We'll come back to this. We gotta finish this. I don't know how much is left. There's gotta be... a chunk left. Yeah, my, I, I, my, my voice was gone a while ago. I was not ready for this game. Guys, I wanted a nice, chill game. After... After all, all the... Tomb Raiding and the Shantae... I thought this would be perfect. 75%? Okay. 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 Yo, thanks for that, Hurst. Thank you. Rock Clown Car Dragon. I was not ready. No one was ready. Eric's not even ready. Eric's not ready for the game. We didn't stand a chance. I just can all day, Captain. A Zulu warrior. I'm excited to see more of this, though. It's... Of course, this game has a stupid... Star Trek reference, just like Eternam did. Yeah, all right. Ready. All right, I'm dying. Oh, Let's see who's on. We're gonna start a raid, and I'll say goodbyes. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for hanging out today. But I, I do got to end this. I do have to end this stream. I'm sorry. We've been on for 12 and a half. We, we did that. We made 12 and a half. Um, oh, there's a lot of good people on. Oh, man. All right, hold on. I saw somebody, and then they, they vanished. Oh, uh, we haven't hit Bennett's in a while. Let's go say hi to Bennett's. Let's go. He is playing Goblins. I love Goblins. He's just about to start. He hasn't started yet. Oh, get in there. Come on. Wake up, Bennett's. Wake up. Start your stream. He's been on for nine minutes. He's going to start. Don't worry. Uh, Brain, TDX, Board Game Heaven, Dragoon, Duke Donuts, PS1 Attic. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mora. Thank you, Grillis. Thank you, Sam Ain. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Bobby, Looney, uh, Master Gear, Pepperoni, Apple. You guys are awesome. It's like this J Dog, Ahiabi. Ant. Take it in. Take it easy, guys. Bye, Kelly Kilo. Bye, Kelly Satan. Bye, Tiberius. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for joining the stream, everybody. Bye, Jay. Bye, Rackland Car. Marmo, Backstepper. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. I know this game was weird, and I appreciate it. Samson. Thank you, Samson, for the 100 bits. Thank you, Samson. Father Axe Keeper, hello. Have a good one, dude. You're awesome. Thank you, Gregor. Hope work went okay for you. Bye, Cleveland. Bye, Pizza Lawyer. 
Uh, bye, guys. Yeah, good night. Uh, we got a big raid. Oh, we got a big raid tonight, Thunderslug. Have a good one as well. All these people were watching me play on Air the Unready. I apologize. Uh, I, again, I apologize for the virgins. I apologize for the breasts. The next game will be no breasts. Zero. Don't worry. Dude, donuts. Bye, guys. I gotta. I think. I think. I think it's over. I think it's over. I can't see the thing now. I circumflex. You circumflex. Are we going? Circumflex. I circumflex. You circumflex, I circumflex. You circumflex, you circumflex, I circumflex. You circumflex. Ridiculous. I circumflex. Alright, I love you guys. You I'll see you all later.